All right, headline is, can you get deer with a dead deer? They have to make the puns. They have to. Wisconsin motion argues sex with animal carcass not a crime. It probably isn't a crime, technically, on the books, because what sicko would even have to write it as a, a crime? And we're looking at the sicko right and now. Yeah, cool. this guy is... His yeah. hair's still sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From doing his business with the deer. <laughs> with a dead deer. Oh, this is a creepy-looking blockhead. Yeah. Well, what, what is he? What is going through your head at that point as they're taking the mug shot and you know it's going out to all the papers yeah. that you you, tr you humped a dead deer? Yep. Dead deer. Dead deer. Where can I move? Where can I move? El Salvador. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Columbia. Back Where can to I El Salvador or Columbia. Well, here's the story. Meet Brian James Hathaway. His name is Brian James Hathaway? Yeah. Doesn't sound Sounds like... Sounds like a rich, uh, rich uh, white person's uh, son. Yeah. He looks like Esquire. Yeah, Esquire. <laughs> he looks um, like he just crossed the border. He looks like he just had sex with a dead deer. Oh, that too. <laughs> Meet Brian James Hathaway, alleged venison uh, lover. The Wisconsin man 20 is facing charges that he had sex last month with a dead deer. Hathaway, who previously has served time for killing a horse he intended to sexually assault. You know, why do you got to kill the animals? They're not going to rat you out, you idiot. Do you realize that this guy, he's he's at that level right before you become a serial oh, killer? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's what they always say. They get into porn, then they start torturing animals, and this guy is now actually having sex with them. They, this is basically the next Night Stalker. Yeah, and that's him got, right there. This guy needs to be killed. They just saved uh, a dozen Asian boys. Yeah, having their heads <laughs> drilled open, sure he brains sucked freezer. out. He's got a meat freezer in his apartment. He had right. done order. He, he was all yeah. set, right? Like, yeah, there's a big UPS truck pulling in front of his house, but he's not there. So yeah, I, it's like I got the this uh, freezer. The entertainment system for a serial yeah. killer. Instead of the flat screen, you, you got the meat freezer, <laughs> a drill, yeah. like various hatchets and cutlery. Oh, what a creep. Yeah. yeah, this guy's killing animals and then having sex with them. Yeah, he uh, served time for killing a horse he intended to sexually assault, allegedly found the deer in a ditch alongside a roadway. So it was he didn't even kill it? It was roadkill? Ugh. It's a little roadkill? <laughs> most people would drive by and go, oh, he goes, uh, and goes, ah, oh, it's asking for it. <laughs> yeah, look at it just laying there. <laughs> with his, You're a whore. Little, little, <laughs> huh? You like your little white tail in the air? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Pull, yeah. Pulling on the antlers, you like that? Huh? Depending on how it's yeah, sitting there on the side of the road, maybe the maybe the white tail was up in the air a little higher than the antlers. <laughs> Looking, going, yeah, all right, this one's just asking for it. I like how they said he killed a horse, and he, he, he with the intention to sexually assault it. It's like was he standing over it with like an erection? Yeah, what happened? <laughs> how could he possibly kill the horse and have the intent to have sex with it and then not? They, they, yeah, like they it, caught him after it happened, like you said. And pants then, down around the ankles. Ready to, ready to rock. <laughs> oh. Want to get away? <laughs> uh. So allegedly he found the deer in a ditch alongside a roadway. Now Hathaway's lawyer has filed a court motion arguing that since the animal was already dead, Hathaway should not face a misdemeanor rap of sexual gratific gratification with an animal. Mm -hmm. The statute does not prohibit one from having sex with a carcass lawyer. You have you have to get a lawyer to defend you on this one. That there's no law against having sex with a carcass. Yeah, that lawyer Frederick uh, Anderson wrote in the motion filed in blah, 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 as reported in today's blah, blah, blah. In response to Anderson's Love motion, prosecutor blah, blah, blah noted that state criminal okay, statutes... Tough. Did not seem to draw a line between the living and the dead. Judge blah, 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 who He's heard motions, blah, blah, judge. blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah, said he will issue a decision by December 1st. How do you make eye contact with this guy if you're his lawyer? It's just, so he was, you just, so, just staring right. at, at the file, just going, so it was dead, right? It was definitely dead. So it was dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was yeah, dead. Okay. okay, because they're going to come back at us now if it was alive. And you had sex with it. And did See, you, there's a problem. Did you ejaculate at any moment? Was there any sort of case? All right. But as long as if it was dead, 
Then we got a case. I just think there's a lot of muttering just looking down at the table. And, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, you're going with the muttering lawyer? Yeah. Just rub, rubbing your forehead. just going Real to, hard uh, at the brow. Uh, is it a uh, full-grown deer? At least so it's... <laughs> yeah, it was an underage deer. Kind of had better if maybe you had sex with a wolf, because <laughs> the jury would be afraid of the wolf, and uh, maybe could sympathize with you, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Any angle. Just try any Keep, angle. Brown-eyed deer. Uh, how, uh, how long do you figure it was dead? Was it like freshly? Had you been drinking? Is yeah, there, yeah, please say you were drinking. Is there any yeah. drugs involved? <laughs> uh, you could say that. You know, I'm not here to yeah. push you to say anything, but you could say that. You got to give me something here, man. Could you dry your hair <laughs> before you go into the court? for the mugshot? Because you look like you're still excited about the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Could you mop up the sex sweat? That's, I'm not saying you are, but it's my job to look out for you, and these people are going to think that you... You think it's going to rain today? Just, yeah. Just, yeah, just, yeah, just, just trying to... change the subject. <sighs> we didn't mention antlers, did we? Yeah, I was uh, saying pulling on the antlers. Oh, okay. Because yeah. that would make it uh, a gay experience as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't use the antlers. Yeah. That's sick. Yeah, that, that makes it <laughs> twisted. I mean, let's draw the line somewhere. Unless, of course, you got to realize what he was doing. Was he doing normal, or you know, uh, was well, it what? What was he using? Was he using? Like, I don't know. He's got like, there, are, there are a couple of choices on a deer, a in dead deer. In defense of him, he has he has big brown deer eyes himself. Maybe <laughs> very uh, doe eyed. Very doe eyed. Maybe they. Uh, I don't know. He looked into that dead doe eye. It looked like a. <laughs> Could you see if he a was bad grabbing piece of fish, grabbing the antlers? And doing it that way. Oh, God. <laughs> like, that's even, for some reason, that's even sicker. Who about the people that, driving by uh, down the highway? Yeah. And <laughs> hey, there's something you don't see every day. <laughs> Did he just kill it? He's trying to tie it to his front bump. He seemed to be yeah, struggling with it. Because the last thing I could possibly think is that he's trying to have sex with it. There's no way. No, you would think, yeah, he's struggling with it, he shot it, he hit it with his car. I would think that the deer attacked him. You know where they do that front hoof thing? And yeah, very dangerous. And knocked off his belt, and maybe his pants came down. Pants, pants fell down because of the deer hooves hitting his pants. Yeah. He's struggling with it. Yeah. Uh, he's just, just taking some Cialis. Right. He's a little around. He's on his way home. Yes. Uh, he has some problems, but he's on his way home to, get to his loving wife. And as the car pulled up to see him, he had just snapped the deer's neck. And that's why the deer was dead. In a battle for his own life. This is how the lawyer is going to present it. He, and he's going to be looking down at the courtroom floor, muttering the whole time, rubbing his forehead. <laughs> Just knowing uh, they're not the fire. Deer, yeah, the deer they're not you know, some dope drove by, too, and yeah. said, that's such a weird way to put a deer on a roof of a car. He's, yeah. he's pushing and pulling at the same time. He's, he's that's not going to work. Pushing. Hello, physics class. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh. I wonder if I should stop and help. Yeah, him. you need a hand there, buddy. <laughs> right. What about his family? They no, I'm fine. His family's got to come down and bail him out. Just like, yeah, yeah. I'm arrested. Uh, what'd you do? A drunken ballroom, barroom fight? No. Nah, nah yeah, it's a sexual assault. Oh no! Don't worry, it, it wasn't human. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a person, and it wasn't even alive. So don't get on me. <laughs> In a deer. Yeah. Yeah. All right. In a ditch. I don't know. I guess, you know, <sighs> deers can have, you know, some sexy lines about them, you know. Yeah. Alive. Kind of cute. It uh, might have been. Uh, big eyes. Do they, don't they call deer, uh, male deers deers? And then they're all deers, I guess. They're all deer. And then, then, then there's the a does. buck and a doe. Yeah, okay. Never mind. I'm trying to make this story Hope it was gay. a doe. I'm just trying to make this story If gay. it was a buck. Oh, boy. All right. That's how we end The headline would have been different. Yeah. Bill Burr, thank you yeah, so they much. Yeah, a different pun. Yeah, that's not, you know they all did that one. <laughs> of course they did, but it didn't pass the censors. <laughs> really fast, we talked about this when it happened. Remember the guy that uh, had sex with the dead deer on the side of the road? What? <laughs> what? Who could forget? <laughs> what? He, a it's 20, not rape, it's dead. How do you yeah, end true. on that? <laughs> a 20-year-old uh, man received probation. That's all I got for that. That's it? You can, there's something going on in this guy's head. Put him, put him away. It's called porn. After he was convicted of having sexual contact with a dead deer, the sentence, the sentence also requires uh, blah blah to be evaluated as a sex offender and treated at the Institute for Psychological and uh, Sexual Health. The world is not big enough to run from that story. You can't be ah move to Colorado. Yeah, nah, it'll get you. 
God how do you damn. how do you have sex with a dead deer? Did you lie down with it on your side? Did you find it? Did you hit it with your car? Do you with... roll it over and hold its legs? Yeah, what position do you Yeah, use? it's dead. It's it's like clumsy and heavy. I'd say just it's on its side. Yeah, you lie and down you next to it. You kinda just lift the tail and do it kind of sideways to it. So you know what it is? It's those those doe eyes, just like that uh, yeah. American Idol contestant. Little Bambi. Hey uh we got a great little news story. It is uh, Perv News Thursday. We love to find these little pervy stories, and uh, this one's a classic today. Check this out. I know this- Creek man accused of planning a hidden camera in his friend's bathroom will spend the next year in prison. Wow. Only on 12 News, Caroline Leiters reports on an emotional morning in court for both families affected by his crime. Sean Komarowski came to court asking the judge for probation, not prison. Yes, I could take the pain. Um, away. Believe me, I, I will. He admitted to the crime. He bought this camera clock radio at a sharper image store and for more than a year collected the video images it captured from his best friend's bathroom. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Who is he watching, his buddy or his buddy's kids? Uh, we'll find out more, but... Uh, it doesn't matter. The guy sounds like a poor slob. Let him go. Well, that's what I was getting at there, Colin. He's a, he's a disabled man. Oh. Yes, kitty, a little pleasure. Disabled man plants a uh, camera in best friend's bathroom. Wait, now, why the bathroom? Because he likes that activity, or is that the only place his little crippled body can get it to? <laughs> because <laughs> because trying to get it onto the mantle, when you're but you're disabled, disabled, your whole life revolves around the bathroom, so it's associated with a lot of things. Oh, that, very good, Colin. Look what I'm telling. <laughs> it's true. That's true. This little twisted body Old in the target bathroom. chest. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's let's uh, kind of say. Do you think you should go to jail now? Uh, part of me feels uh, a little. A little bad for the guy. Me too. Disabled, really? Disabled guy probably didn't get any action his entire Just life. Just wants a little thrill. Just, Just wants like a little peek. On to catch a predator that this young guy, and the guy goes, you knew she was 13? He goes, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not going to lie to you. It's one of my fantasies. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Hansen's like, what? Yeah. I don't know what this guy was. Okay, you're free to go. I, I want to make it perfectly clear. I don't know what this guy was peeking at. I'm, yeah, what the hell is he I'm looking at? it's hot, you know college co-eds but i thought it was his, his buddy it's his buddy's house so i don't know what's going in his buddy's house there is maybe his buddy though. was a real swinger Wait, yeah. Had, had yeah, buddy, maybe had the buddy not know and he goes you put this clock in your bathroom <laughs> could you turn it to the left a little why yeah. <laughs> just so you can see it better yeah. it looks like that stupid clock in scarface where the 12 is missing <laughs> <laughs> black hole bunch of savvy drug dealers don't notice there's no 12 on the clock and he wants you to put it on the tub ledge so it's at, <laughs> at, at, at like at, at level of the guy's ass. Like, how stupid are these people? Could you put it on the ceiling and aim it down to between your legs on the toilet? <laughs> Hang this clock from the ceiling. Komarowski's parents begged the judge for leniency, saying since childhood, Sean's been teased and tormented because of his physical disability. His mom told the court the same disabilities that made him a target in school would make him a target in prison. The world is a clear wait, 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 wait. What, what, what's the disability that makes him a target? His ass starts at the back of his neck and it ends at his ankles. <laughs> he has a giant ass. <laughs> that would make him a target. In- <laughs> that, kid's all, that kid's all ass. And, and, and it's a birthmark and it, it looks like a tattoo and it says, I dare you to, right over the ass. <laughs> What's, what's his the world is a cruel place. Mm-hmm. I don't want to imagine what it would be like for him being behind prison walls. But his victim said prison is where he belongs, mm-hmm. that this camera violated their privacy and took away any sense of security they had. In the end, Judge Joseph Donald agreed. This court finds that the probation recommendation would unduly depreciate the serious nature of this offense. He sentenced Komarowski to a year in prison. His family devastated, saying he needs help. His victims, who didn't want to be on camera, were relieved. But they don't want to explain who the victims were. And what was his disability? I don't know. And show the video from the clock that they don't want to show up. They said his disabilities. It was Komarowski's Polish. <laughs> He was sentenced to prison time, and that made me feel, a li- that's going to make me feel a little bit safer. Oh, sounds hot. Tomorowski was the best man in the victim's wedding and had been friends with them for more than a decade. Even oh. though he did plead guilty, he never said why he committed the crime. 
Well, what do you, uh, why do you why think he did? He liked looking at, at toilet footage. That's my, that's my educated <laughs> guess. Yeah. Idiot. He's yes, a bit Danny. of a voyeur. Yes, uh, Danny. I just wanted to uh, make it clear that uh, the victim was the, the friend's wife. They do show her in the, in ah, the footage. Was she hot? All right. That mess. makes more sense. She was a mess? Yeah. She should have been flattered. Oh, so he, she, he's probably <laughs> taking, like, tub footage and stuff and shower footage. Yeah, I'm assuming that it was probably her, you know, getting out of the shower. How'd know. they catch him? So what's the big deal? That I don't know. The guy was desperate, obviously. Well, yeah. And how would he sneak into the bathroom to unload tape? What, what, how'd that happen? I don't know the specifics of how that specific camera works. So well, I mean, that's what Jim's trying to get to. Of if course was, it is. I mean, if he was best friends with uh, with the guy, I'm assuming that he had, you know, he had access to the guy's house on a fairly regular basis. Colin, <laughs> Colin and I are good friends. I've been in this bathroom once in six years. Yeah. Which means I have a lot of footage to collect. <laughs> <laughs> if you remember that clock. We got one more quickie before we get out of here. Uh, Perv News continues with this fine story. He calls himself baseball player. Some holiday shoppers, though, are using a few different terms to describe him, or at least his actions. That's disgusting. Hey. Disgusting. That's disgusting. Oh, there's your... Uh, oh, I love it when they, the, 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 the neighbors... That those who contribute nothing to the story. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are they going to say? That's oh, yeah. fantastic. What's he do, this guy? <laughs> well, we're going to find out, but obviously it's something horrific. So wait, we're hearing the opinions of, of neighbors and other people before we hear the crime. Yeah. Well, I think That's it's opinions good. of shoppers. From what I got at the beginning of that shoppers. story. Some holiday shoppers feel as another word. Oh, <laughs> people, holiday shoppers. People he's that are standing on line for a Wii or something. He's getting, yeah, he's yeah. getting in the way of the commerce thing. Can we start yeah. over again, please? I'm sorry, my, my, uh, here my we apologies. Go. Running out of show. He calls himself baseball player. Some holiday yeah. shoppers, though, are using a few different terms to describe him, or at least his actions. That's disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. That's disgusting. There's obviously something, something wrong, wrong with him. According to the website Consumerist.com, <laughs> which is a Can consumerism I... blog, this yes. man is a, quote, bad consumer. Why? Because the 21-year-old college student who likes baseball and camping also likes masturbating in the Arrowhead Town Center in Glendale. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> well, this guy goes to these stores and does his thing yeah. on camera. <laughs> on camera. Where are the dressing rooms? Oh. Huh? Yeah, just in the, the aisles. aisles. Yeah. How fun that, would that be? That's his gig, man. Let's get, let's learn more. The According mop guy must be website, busy in that place. This man has posted more than 30 videos of himself masturbating in many stores. Stores like Dillard's, Walmart, and Barnes & Noble. Hmm? But so far, neither police nor Arrowhead Mall has received one complaint. Now, though, after 3TV contacted them this morning... They've launched an investigation. Um, we are aware of the website, and we're working closely with um, Glendale Police Department to check its uh, validity. Um, but to date, we have no reports of this uh, incident. This guy rules. This guy does rule. Someone, wow. uh, someone uh, told the news about his, uh, you know, his videos online. He's just finding his internet angle. His angle is to go. That's it. He and wants to be an internet star. Him. Doing his thing in the aisles of, like, uh, big-time stores. Good for him. What do you got, Dan? Yeah, well, it's good for him until you bite into a Cinnabon <laughs> at the small box of the Balls and Noble. <laughs> the stills from the news story were just hysterical because uh, they had taken, uh, obviously, still frames from his videos that he made. So it was just like you'd see some old grandma, like, you know, like looking at a towel or something in an aisle. And just his, everything below the waist has been blurred out. <laughs> I, think, I think I've actually seen footage of this guy. I saw something like that where a guy brought his own camera, obviously in a case, and he's in a library, and you could see he's like he's got sweatpants. He's just pulling his sweatpants down. He would do it for a second, and there's a fat lady in the back perusing books. It was just antisocial behavior. <laughs> yes, That's what of I'm course. In my ideal world, a guy like him, good for him, would be killed. Really? Why? Yes. His rules. You don't like no. him, Colin? No, Come on. I don't. Right, I'd kill him. Let's find and by the way, the whole finding time, his niche in showbiz. Can I yeah. say one thing? While we were doing this, we were talking about Surreal. The whole time we are talking about this, in the background, I'm watching Montel Williams play Guitar Hero 3. Yeah, Montel yeah, that was a little odd. Huh. This world is finished. This is the last of the story, because we've got to get out of here. Police say since this morning, they believe the man has pulled all 30 of his videos off oh, the Internet. pulled the videos. Right now, they're trying <laughs> to identify him and want to figure out if there are any victims of indecent exposure. Meanwhile, holiday oh, yeah. shoppers say if they should run into the man who calls himself baseball player, they'll run faster than a real baseball great stealing home. <laughs> uh, they always have uh, a 
wrap on any little, yeah, way to wrap it up. It's, like, uh, God, that's so funny. Why couldn't she have said something funny to tie for baseball? Like, they'll run faster than Thurman Munson from Flaming Wreckage. Uh. <laughs> she going to go with a baseball reference. They'll run faster than Billy Martin's forehead from a windshield in the snow. <laughs> because it's California. They're going to do those references. <laughs> oh, you're probably right. Ah, uh, yeah, not Yankee references. Well, that was a non-story. He was getting away with it. Uh, we got another creepy dentist. We love the creepy dentist on this show. Yeah, dentists are just ghouls. It brings up one of my favorite bits on the show, the perv switch. We all have the perv yep. switch, every single one of us, but we mm -hmm. control it. That's the difference. Whatever happens in your brain, you can you control the perv switch. You start thinking crazy stuff. You look at a girl walking uh, toward you on the street. You start thinking quickly what you would like to do with that cleavage. Yep. And then you, uh, then you... You see that the Starbucks is right there, and you go about your day. Mm -hmm. But for others, the perf switch goes off, and they can't control themselves, and they just lose their freaking mind. Right. You know, uh, some in very funny ways, others in very horrific yeah. ways. It's but we just, all have it. It happens, you, you, especially with the dentists, because they get w women that are laying in front of them, anesthetized. They're pretty much alone in the room with them, and uh, they're looking, and maybe she's attractive, and he's just being... A dentist mm -hmm. going through filling teeth. All right, I check the X-ray here. It looks like this. Um, it's a, one of her, uh, the lower bicuspid, uh, seems to need a. I gotta feel those cans. I need them. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Open that shirt. <laughs> they just lose their minds but, in a split second. But before it gets to that point, Aunt, uh, you gotta do the dentist as uh, you know, telling the assistant to go down the hall and check the. Uh, Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I'll be, um, I got it here, uh, uh, nurse. I, I've got it. You can go down the hall and check on how much x-ray film we have left. Could you do that? Because we have a pretty heavy load of uh, patients today. So, I, okay. Thank you. Yes, yes. I'll be right here with the patient. All right. Let me look at this tooth. Yeah, that's the one that looks a little sensitive. She was having a little problem with that. Oh, God. Oh, I got to see her Oh my God! I gotta take those pants. I gotta see her. <laughs> <laughs> the assistant uh, uh, comes back in the room. No, well, hi, yes, no, this was. And the patient's hair is a little off, and, and, and the clothes askew. don't fit quite right. <laughs> the, the shirt's buttoned where you put the wrong button in the wrong buttonhole. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 nurse. Well, so you're back. <laughs> no, there's a little problem with the suction thing, and yeah. it drooled out a little bit. I was hoping everything would be okay. But... All right. She's coming around. She, you're fine. You're fine. Mm -hmm. Just lay here in recovery for a while. Yeah. <sighs> Is this supposed to be dentist music? Dentist office music? Oh, wow. You're hold right. on. Hold on. This... I'm doing dentistry in uh, an elevator. Yes. And well... now I'm doing it at... Or as a Peanuts cartoon. <laughs> wow. All right. On the sound effect. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> hey, here we go. So here's the latest uh, story on a creepy dentist. Robert Boyda Jr. is an oral surgeon in Mount Lebanon, but today he, he did not go to his office. Instead, he came here to Allegheny County Police Headquarters to surrender to authorities. Police say he sexually assaulted a number of his patients. 8 o'clock this morning, Dr. Boyda arrived with his attorney. Take a look at the criminal complaint. 16 different counts of sexual assault against four different patients, all at his offices in Scott and Robinson Townships. All were under anesthesia while having their wisdom teeth removed. Most of the details here are too graphic to repeat, but one patient recalls Boyda exposing himself three to four times. Another says she woke and the dentist had his hand under the blanket covering her. The most serious accusation from another patient, she says she recalled being reclined in the dental chair and Dr. Boyda was straddling her. Oh, my God. These... Straddling. Sorry to the victims, but these are my favorite stories that, that pop up. These these yep. horny dentists. Sorry, you guys are just creeps. <laughs> You're just ghouls. <laughs> Straddling what, her. What a great visual. Yeah. 
I think that's a compliment, by the way. Oh, to the victim. How hard yeah. is the dentist though when he's straddling her and all of a sudden he sees those eyes flutter open and look at him and he's you can't not know you're caught. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Do I kill her or put her back under? <laughs> you got all those trays and equipment in the way. That's that's not easy to just uh, you know straddle. That's another th- reason. Why, that's another reason why uh, why dentists are always getting caught. I I think they're too scared to kill the people that they've just molested. Mm-hmm. It's it's one of those things. A dentist can't quite close the deal like that. Well, it's kind of hard to do in the office, too. I mean, someone goes in for wisdom teeth, and all of a sudden uh, their husband comes to pick him up, and you're like, oh, I don't know where she is. <laughs> I don't know she what left. happened. She left. She got up and left. She was fine. I was in the waiting room. I didn't see her. Well, what I about went that? for a jog. What about the case we had, we talked about on the show down there in Chinatown? There was a, uh, was it a dentist? I think it might have been a dentist where the mm. guy, something went horribly wrong in the uh, the office with the anesthesia or something. So he just he just put her out on the sidewalk. Oh, right. And she ended up dying. Yeah, just dragged her out of the office and threw her on the sidewalk. They do that occasionally when the uh, you get these guys that live in an apartment that say they do liposuction. Right, right. <laughs> and uh, corrective surgery and yeah. things like that, uh, plastic surgeons. And they came from Guatemala or something, and they, they're renting an apartment. Uh, people actually go to these uh, people and get horrible infections, and mm-hmm. and whenever something bad happens, they find him kind of laying out on the street. <laughs> they just take him out. Ah, sorry. Oh well. Uh, here's the second part of the story, and of course, uh, there's a lawyer involved trying to help uh, mm-hmm. the den- help the dentist out. What do you think uh, the lawyer's angle is going to be on this, there, uh, Jimmy? That uh, they're lying. I mean, or that he has some kind of a sexual compulsion problem. He may have to acknowledge it. If enough women come forward and he sees it as unwinnable, hmm. you have to say it's a sexual compulsion. Yeah, you're going to say that? I think his th- thing is going to be, uh, no, these women are uh, under anesthesia and they're kind of hallucinating. No. He's just doing things that dentists do. Uh, sometimes they do have to get some leverage when they're pulling a tooth sure. and climb on board naked. Yes. <laughs> or sometimes when applying the, the, uh, the like, you know, when, they, for, when you're going in for a cleaning, a lot of times um, the toothpaste tube... Uh, will be squeezed and moved back and forth right. in front of her face, and then yes. her face will wind up on her cheek and on her collar and her hair. Well, let's find out. Here we go. Boyd's attorney calls these accusations ludicrous. He says the doctor is never alone with a patient. He blames us all on anesthesia. You don't criminally charge somebody based on hallucinations, and anesthesia is a hallucinogenic. Uh, you base them on, on very firm facts. Uh, that don't exist in this case. Sorry, but you got four different people who are saying essentially the yes. same thing, making the same essentially well, the same accusation. You know, it, 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 these girls are in and out of consciousness and saying they're having um, uh, these uh, dreams or, or visions. Dreams. Uh, the one girl on the most serious charge says that it was a flashback, and and I think that clinically, I don't think you have flashbacks based on anesthesia. From here, police took Dr. Border to a magistrate where he officially entered his plea of not guilty. After that, he will have a preliminary hearing, and more than likely after that. He will go to trial. At Allegheny County Police Headquarters, Ari Height, Channel 4 Action News. Action News. Action News. Oh, boy. Some action, all right. They got action news. See? They went with the old hallucinating. Oh, she's just <laughs> stories, <laughs> visions, dreams. Uh, I don't know. And then they'll look into her past, and they'll find out she, like, stripped one time at a strip club, and she can't be trusted. Yeah. And then they'll throw the case out. As Did someone you is dream about that uh, clam chowder on her <laughs> on her shirt. Somebody on instant feedback. If you're instant feedbacking from a cell phone, leave your name if you want credit. Uh, this person writes: Wait, wait. Sixteen complaints by four women. That means they went back four times each. Yeah, <laughs> that's always a bad thing too for the the women. Never. Speaking of vacation, we love to do a bit called. Um, Unlucky lottery or sucks to be you. Yeah, very did you, confusing. Did you hear about this story? No, I didn't. Oh my God! It I have freaked, to make a verdict. It freaked the hell out of me. Listen to what happened to this lady, and just imagine in your head the odds. Seriously, try to do a little math uh-huh. in your head as you listen to this story. A freak accident off the waters of the Florida Keys. Judy Zagorski was out on the waters Thursday in this rented 16-foot fishing boat with her family. That's when this large spotted eagle ray jumped out of the water, striking the 55-year-old head-on. It collided with the victim at a very uh, intense force, causing the victim to fall backwards. Um, The sister that was on board immediately ran to, to her aid and attempted to do CPR. Uh, but by all intents and purposes, she was probably already deceased. 
Wow. The fish wins. The fish wins. Hey, man, I don't know about you, but the fish are starting to get pissed off. They really are getting like, enough. aggravated. We don't want to be eaten anymore. Enough. What Enough. Kind of, Go back to chicken. What kind of fish was that? Like a, a something ray? It was like a stingray. It was what? a ray? It was a ray. It wasn't a... I don't think it was a stingray. I think it was... Uh, they, they said what kind of ray. But they all It was look, in the ray family. They kind of looked the same. They got the little wings and everything. Yeah. And yeah, it's called a spotted eagle ray. A spotted eagle and ray. It's... They're so much bigger than regular stingrays. Oh, that, my that God. Why that, that's, why, that's why that this lady died. It wasn't just like a little one-foot thing. <laughs> this thing just came thing, out of the monster. It, 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 was, it weighed 75 pounds and had like a six-foot wingspan. <laughs> oh, <holy laughs> she, she, got, she got killed by an oversized water bat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. She was killed by a sea monster. <laughs> yeah, a sea monster came out and killed her. Uh, it's a monster. At least when you go to heaven, man, you got a story to tell. Oh, listen, the beat this one. Wait, was she just the boat was going and this thing just happened to wow. Yes! Yes, yes Jimmy. And, and and the and the momentum? Yes. Oh. That's unlucky the, lottery. The boat is just tooling along. This thing decides to fly out of the water. Is this one of these things that has to jump out of the water every once in a while, I guess? No, I mean not not to my knowledge anyway. This I think was just like a c complete freak accident. And then, yeah, those things don't usually they usually hang out at the bottom. More to the story. Wow. The ray, five to six feet in wingspan, weighing seventy five to eighty pounds, yeah. was also killed instantly. Aww. Zagorski was declared dead here at Fisherman's Hospital in Marathon. And the fish it's was declared dead at Human's Hospital. <laughs> 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 That's terrible. Uh. It is also where her 88-year-old father was held briefly for observation. He was on the boat when it happened. Spotted eagle rays are not stingrays. They're known to jump out of the water. Oh. Like stingrays, they have a sharp barb that can be lethal. However, investigators don't believe that's what happened here. Because of the fact that she was bleeding quite a bit, but after the further investigation, our investigators determined that there was no visible puncture wounds on the body. No, she just got slammed with 75 pounds of meat. Yeah. That's pretty much it. 75 pounds of meat hit her in the face. Could you um, You can't imagine this one. Did she see it coming, though? Like, or, or she, no. Hopefully looking the other way. Hopefully she wasn't like... Like a large thing looks slippery. Uh -oh. No time to duck. <laughs> Smells like fish. I'm floating above, looking down at my dumb father, feeling a, a giant sea serpent on my face. What happened? Looking down at my dumb father, he's thinking he's got Alzheimer's because he doesn't understand what just happened. No, he's remembering my prom. My father's remembering my prom and the bright future, and he never thought he'd be peeling a sea monster off my face on a boat, and that's how I would die. <laughs> Who would ever guess that way? She probably took good care of herself. She oh, to, yeah, like, right. Breast cancer exams and probably ate healthy and yeah. did what she had to do. She's out boating, just having fun. Sea air. Being okay. a little active. And you end up getting killed by a water bath. A right. damn monster <laughs> flings itself out of the water into your head. How do you think it feels, too? Oh. It survives. It avoids sharks. It avoids, like, being sucked into a whale's mouth. <laughs> and it's killed by someone wearing, like, jeans that don't fit properly. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing it smells is denture breath and fear. <laughs> ah, she had coffee, awful denture coffee breath. <laughs> oh wow, that's a yeah, that's a unlucky lottery story. Wow. It's got to be if they're known to jump out of the water. It's not like it was jumping into the boat. It was probably just jumping out of the water. And I, I know I, I missed the, the boat was moving, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, that was moving pretty good. So that kind of, yeah, that kind of added to it, I'm sure. Well, I think getting hit in the face with 75 pounds, no matter what speed you're <laughs> yeah. traveling yeah. at, is going to be pretty <laughs> It doesn't dramatic. matter what the hell, you, how fast you're going. I think there'd be a play with this story. It sounds like she lost her head or close to it. I wow. think this thing just destroyed There's her. a lot of blood. They said there was a lot of blood. All right, we got to take mm. a break. After that cute little story, we gotta take a little break. Cute. Then her Regal. face went right into its guts, like her face, its body <laughs> probably smashed. Oh, it probably did smash and just make a big splat sound, both of them together. Hey, uh, cause we promised it, we gotta get this on. Uh, new method of ingesting alcohol. Have you guys figured this one out yet? No! Now, we heard about the enema. People were doing that for a while, and it hits your system a lot faster, and it's very dangerous. Well, the kids have figured out another way to get the alcohol into them faster. Listen to this. Everyone's probably laughing because I've got a box of tampons. <laughs> you know, but some women are soaking tampons in vodka, inserting them into their vaginas, and men into their rectums 
for a quick high on alcohol. So they're basically dipping it in, and then when they insert this into those areas, oh. it goes straight into their bloodstreams. It's just like injecting it. Yeah, there's no stop. Maybe two girls tried this. Who's doing this? Who's and doing what this? guy is doing this? Yeah, All the gay guys are into a lot of weird stuff. Who's doing this for real? Mm. This is uh, a little titillation for their final would be, news program. There's no reason for that. <laughs> what is? It? What are you doing with a tampon? It's <laughs> dipped in booze. <laughs> Vaginally, that is just going to destroy the vagina. I mean, the Hell. vaginal. Well, there's a doctor. She knows. Well, it. let me let me let me tell you something. Uh, you ever have a toothache? And uh, you know, before I had dental coverage, what you would do is take um, some Jack Daniels mm -hmm. in a shot glass, and you swish it around by that awful tooth, and the pain would just go away, and you would gulp it down. But um, you know, even before you swallowed it and realized you were drunk, uh, the pain would go away. But your cheek. Like, it would eat away at any membrane on your cheek. So if you ran your tongue on your cheek where that side was, where the Jack Daniels was being held, it would be all rough and kind of rugged, you know? So I could see that it just would eat away at the membrane inside the, the vaginal wall there and just really, like she said, destroy it. From one tamp? Well, maybe not one, but... Vaginally, it, that yeah. is just going to destroy the vagina. I mean, the bacterial environment is a nice balance for women. It's a perfect equilibrium. When you do something like Some that, more perfect you completely than others. destroy it. You're going to set yourself up for yeast infections, bacterial infections, not to mention um, the vagina material is going to crack and break because you're going to get burns wow. and things like that. So it's just going to completely destroy the vagina. It's, it's I'm, I'm just trying to find out what Why? could possibly be fun about this. Yep. Well, wow. Oh, yeah, a watching. girl drunk. Yeah, yeah, drunk girl doing that is yeah. hysterical. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, my God, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy's prepping to get hammered later. He's <laughs> cleaning out. <laughs> Tampon just came out. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's that's uh, that's a hell of a, yeah, I know. a hell of a way to get drunk. I thought you were going to tell me something maybe I could use, experiment with, or have a little fun with. Well, I'm not doing that, Opie. Well, well. well. And, and you know the other thing about this is, unlike, let's say you've had two beers, you know you've had two beers. Mm -hmm. With this, it, you don't know. You could do this, stand up, fall, crack your head, and die. You have, mm -hmm. you no, have no control. You have, oh, Jesus. Oh, really? By the way, I think we should cover this story again in ten minutes. Uh, of course. <laughs> yes, yeah. of course. I want to talk about the cop, how he has to give the breathalyzer. <laughs> 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 yeah, we definitely have to talk about this in a few minutes. Yeah, maybe. I think we all have a Bloody Mary joke in us. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> <It's Bloody laughs> oh, uh, who are you kidding? <laughs> uh, mm -mm. <laughs> who doesn't like one of those on a Sunday morning? Oh, great with, with brunch. Oh, They're boy. They're fantastic. It's terrific. You know, I thought this was bizarre. This next story is even more bizarre. I had never heard of it until recently. Beer bongs. Children, kids are doing this into their anuses. Literally <laughs> taking a beer bong. And Jim, you've got an example there. This, you know, kind of reminds you of the old college days. You know, it's the, but this instead of going in the mouth, you're sticking it somewhere else. Does it look fun? Does it look fun? Certainly does. Why would you ask that, sir? Does it look what, fun? Like I don't understand what you're doing with the beer bong. Yeah. You're just pouring. I guess. Oh, I'll figure that out. I need pictures. <laughs> I guess. I need pictures. And then finally. I can't. I, I just, I don't get it. Well, there's I, something, like you said, if you drink into your stomach, there's first pass metabolism through your liver. Well, there are some blood vessels in the rectum that miss that first pass. So sure. you do feel the effects quicker. We're trying really? to teach our kids creativity, but I not this so. guy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sure, well, you just did. What? That's what I hate they about just these asses. Bottom. Hey, you get drunk quicker. They just uh, the, turned a lot of uh, teenagers onto a new method. Bypasses the liver. They make believe they're like uh, getting the knowledge out there, you know, be, to yeah. watch out for this. But more people will now do it because of their dumb report. I love to have, do it to so, have someone do it that way, and then you know, some new guy walks in like, "Oh, do a beer bong out of your mouth." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, this beer tastes like crap. <laughs> Jim, I'm sure you were a big drinker back in the day. Do you do anything creepy like that? No, never, never anything. Uh, it was always just out of a bottle. Uh, never anything fancy. It was using yeah. Meisterbrow. There was no oh, brain alcohol. No like orifice that. evolved because no, no, it never did. No, none, uh, none. I used to snort vodka as a goof. No, what are they? Yeah, they called it what a chili willy or something like that. Yeah. 
Yeah, like you turn over the shot glass and that that little like thing. Yeah, the little indent. Yeah, you're not doing much, but I would yeah. I would just drink it like yeah. a normal human. As a being. goof, we would snort uh, vodka shots. Yeah, not the whole shot. That'd be insane. You drink too? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I you know if I want to get a quick buzz, I'll do like a couple shots of Jaeger and a beer. That's, and I, and yeah, that's my. I point. get within like 20 minutes. I get a nice buzz. Yeah. So I don't need to put it in. No. no. Put it somewhere. You know no. what the problem I have is, especially with drinking beers. I will just drink beer all day. Like if I if, if I'm drinking two, I'm drinking a uh, twelve pack. Just hanging out. Why not? Like I can't just stop it too. The word the word you're looking for is alcoholic. <laughs> oh, is it? One's too many and a hundred's not enough. <laughs> they kind of defined it, Ann. Yeah. No, it's hard to say. No, I'm saying if if I had to stop, I'd stop. You can't. But just, I yeah. just don't like. I, I, I choose not to. It's yes. just you start I, I'll drinking just, during the day. I'll just sit there and drink. What am I gonna drink at night? I gotta go to sleep at seven. That's true. <laughs> you know. So uh, after he starts noon, drinking during the view on the, <laughs> 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 on the drive home. We get back to the alcohol tampons because we didn't do that yes. story justice. We say hi to Mike in Ohio. Mikey. Oh, yeah, Mike. hey guys, love the show. Mike. Hi. What's up, hey, Mike? That's a that newscast you had on earlier that you all make fun of, that is very informative. Why? Well, you know, now if I go out you know, and catch my son out behind the garage with a funnel up his ass, I might not have thought nothing about that before, but he could be drinking. Mm. Well, wouldn't that be a relief that he's, like, drinking? If you see your son with a bottle up his ass? A funnel. <laughs> Oh, a funnel, you Oh, said. that's different. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay. There's some things I guess you could <laughs> have up your ass and your dad's not going to be concerned. Well, you don't want your kids drinking. That's bad. All right. Bye, guys. Yeah. Uh, Dave the trucker. Dave, what are you hauling today? Uh, lumber. Lumber? Yeah, yeah that's lumber. boring. In the year 2008, I don't think we need to be moving our lumber <laughs> around. Exactly. <laughs> well, hey, it gives me a job, so. All right. But uh, no, the, the, the tampon, uh, you know, the girls have been using that for years. Wisconsin and Minnesota, the high school girls have been doing that. All right. That story yeah. really uh, climaxed nicely. Yeah. <laughs> so, Jesus. I'm so glad we attempted the, the bit uh, pyramid that oh. Eric Logan taught us. Remember? I just, all, all I want to do is Leave. hear about a what? tractor trailer spewing lumber all over the road and the driver being killed. <laughs> <laughs> that would do me. Perv switch. We talk about the perv switch on this show. Oh, yeah. We've been talking about it for years where these guys just can't help themselves. We all think shit when we see a really hot girl walk by. Most of our uh, perv breakers uh, in us, they work. Right. You, you know, it, it, you, don't, you don't flip the switch. It stops you from doing something completely insane. Or else you'd just be grabbing tits and right. fucking shoving your hand up girls' skirts all day. But every once in a while, you got a story where that perv switch goes off. The guy can't help himself. That's and it. this one, well, these stories are hilarious to me. I'm sorry. I love them. I don't know the person this happened to. I don't know their family, so I don't give a fuck. You know, you read this. This is hilarious. Yeah. Chiropractor patient story leads to charges. So you got an Iowa chiropractor charged with assault after a patient reported him to police. Police said Dan Duffy was charged after the complaint was filed in, in the Dallas County in January. All right. According to the complaint, a woman being examined for a back injury was lying on her stomach when oh, Duffy boy. pulled up her shirt to expose her lower back. You know, right. He's got to work the area, right? Yeah, yeah. According to the woman's statement, Duffy began massaging her lower right back and buttocks area. Well, you got to. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah. Sometime during the exam, Duffy left the exam room. He then returned to the room and stood on the left side of the table. The woman told authorities that at that point she heard Duffy unzip his pants and heard what she described as masturbating. Oh, shit. What a fucking lunatic. <laughs> so, you're a doctor. <laughs> well, he's a chiropractor. That's true. <laughs> it's the perv switch, though. It's a classic example of the perv switch. The guy just couldn't help wow. it. Wow, he's massaging her buttocks and her leg and, and her, left her, the room. her back. And he's like, you think he, he left the room to go to the bathroom and throw water on his face and look in the mirror like, am I really going to do what I'm about to do? Oh, <laughs> uh, he has that fucking John Travolta from Pulp Fiction speech in the mirror with himself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're going to finish the chiropractor. I think he tried to get out of the and situation. And then you're going to leave. Right. <laughs> he left and, and, and had to talk with himself like, I can't. Do, I, I got I to gotta, I gotta get back in there. I got 
The woman said that after the exam, her mother took her to the police station. Police swabbed her lower back for evidence. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, the lab confirmed that sperm from the lower back swabs on the woman matched Duffy's oh, DNA profile. Oh, no, he jizzed on her? <laughs> yes. Did he come on her, or do you think he just had pre-cum on his hand? That's a good question. I don't know. Oh, wow. Be... <laughs> oh, jeez. Now, did she see him jerking, or was her head heard, to one side? Heard. All right, so, so she why heard would you, it. If you're hearing what sounds like masturbating going yes. on, why don't you turn around to see what's going on? Can I say I bet you he was massaging her by her buttocks, and she did something that he thought meant she wanted more. Like, she might have moved her hips a little bit. Went, Ugh. Oh, boy. Ugh. He, I made mis that. he sure misinterpreted that. <laughs> yeah, she was saying that's where it hurts, and he thought it meant, I want cumsies on my back. <laughs> I gotta rub the lotion in. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's a... Uh, the fucking perv switch, mm. once again. I'm trying to think of another one out. <clears throat> trying to think of the defense for this. Like, if she didn't look see it... Look at her. It, she <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, look at her. If she didn't see it, she hears it. Mm -hmm. uh, I wonder if he's going to say, no, I was doing this, but uh, all right, well, then wh where's the DNA come from? They found you go, well, his sperm on her lower back. That's well, never could, good. He could say that, yes, I was indeed masturbating earlier and had uh, some uh, spermatozoa on my hand, and I should have washed. I didn't. And as I was massaging her, I transferred it over. Oh, I'm sure uh, I'm sure the lawyer will say that. I'm, I'm sure he'll try anything to get out yeah. of this, but it's not going to help his practice. Oh. If he does get off the hook. I have my chiropractor tools in a uh, bag with a zipper, so he zip unzips it. Chiropractor tools? Yes. Yeah, they got some they got some kind of voodoo shit. I don't know. I'm just trying they to shake help over this, your body. I'm trying to help this guy out here. Her Andrew. saying she heard a, a zipper come undone is not necessarily like going to be good because he could say she did not. She could say oh. she did. Now this is the guy who over explains it. He could claim she did not hear that. <laughs> the guy who over explains. She, on the other hand, will allege, I have to say allege, that she did hear the zipper. This leads to the latest Louie episode. Do you guys watch Ooh, the Louie on Louis. FX? The fucking show is awesome. And uh, Louie got, it looked like he got a cock in his mouth when he visited the dentist on this past Louie episode. <laughs> and the guy who uh, gave Louie the cock was uh, none, uh, was the dude from Office Space, stapler guy. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. He played a dentist in this last episode of Louie. Stapler. And it looks like he stuck his cock in uh, Louie while Louie was under, getting his teeth taken care of. I haven't of. seen that one. Because uh, Louis wakes up and the dentist quickly turns and is zipping up his fly. <laughs> this is this is what Louis got done on FX a couple days ago. It was classic. I got to see that one. It was uh, really really funny. Let's say hi to Brent in Illinois. Brent. Hey Brent. What's up, boys? Hey. Hey. Uh, there's a. Uh, oh oh oh! Hold on a minute. I'm sorry. Uh, the, the best part about the Louis episode, so he's in dreamland because he's under and he's talking to Osama bin Laden. You got to see the episode for yourself. But then all of a sudden the dentist appears in the dream sequence with a banana telling Louis to fucking eat the banana. And, and Louis's like, what, with the peel on it? <laughs> and, and, uh, the guy's like, yeah, don't worry about it. the peel tastes good too or something like that. And all of a sudden stapler guy from office space is shoving the banana in Louis's mouth. And then he wakes up. <laughs> Okay, that's and quickly funny. looks, and the dentist is turned away really fast, zipping up his fly. <laughs> uh, I missed the great. best part with the banana. Thank you for reminding me, whoever that was. Brent, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, uh, there's a uh, dentist in uh, our local area here that says he practices relaxation dentistry. Like if your teeth are really messed up and you need a lot of work, he'll give you a small pill to help you relax while he works on your teeth. Mm-hmm. Oh. I have a feeling he might Roofie. be in the news real soon. Mm. It's, uh, yeah, take this pill. It'll make you relax. As the girl oh. feels like her tits aren't quite in a bra like she put them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, always, girls like they're no, always askew. They're always adjusting their titties in their bra, so you know they know exactly where they are. They know where their tits are at all yeah, times. Yeah, and it's like, wait, my nipple wasn't way over there. Right. This thing feels. The strap is a little twisted around the back. <laughs> well, what the yeah. fuck? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dana uh, in Boston has Dana, a, a another perfect girl name. Story. Dana, boys, good morning. Girl good morning. name, boy name. What's up? So about several months ago, I had a, I'm a sales rep, and I had a new trainee with me, 
And one of my colleagues was going on medical leave down in Connecticut. So Colleague. we finish up the day, and this chick is just out of college. She's smoking hot, blonde hair, had a little skirt on. And I'm looking at her skirt, looking over, thinking to myself, oh, my God, I know that she's got a bald cooter, fucking little thong on. So I said to myself, I don't want to fuck up my nine-year career with my company. So I pretended like I had to run up to my apartment in Back Bay, and I ran upstairs and whacked off to, to get in the car to drive down to Connecticut because I felt the jack attack coming on so strong. Wait, who is this woman again? She was a new trainee with my company, so I'm the, I was a field trainer. Oh, that could have been some trouble right there. Yeah, smart move, though, man. You, yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, guys deal with that shit all yeah, the time. See, that's see the, the, that's the breaker girl, working. Man, that, that perf thing. She had a skirt? Gotcha. Mini skirt, about 23 years old, fresh out of college. Oh, man. See, that's the breaker. That the breaker worked. Yep. It did what it was supposed to do. That's right. Did you get any vibes from her on the way down? Uh, well, we had a couple of beers at dinner, and I didn't know which way to go. I dropped her off at the hotel in Cambridge, and I was like, eh, should I say, should I do the old, we should have a drink? But I didn't want to risk it. All right, fair. You're smart, man. Right on. Sometimes you see a uh, uh, girl walking down the street, uh, down the sidewalk. She's got a little skirt on, <laughs> and I, I always think, I could just run up. Pull her skirt down and shove my tongue in her ass. Yeah, do some caveman shit. Just like, like, but, you know, you don't do it. But but the thing is, you can do it. Mm -hmm. and every once <laughs> like, a while, there's not a fence. And every once in a while, one of these guys just can't help themselves. Yeah, look, see, like that right there. You just walk up, crank it down, <laughs> and shove your tongue in her ass. All right, listen, I, I got to I gotta go to this call immediately. This can't be true. Jeff in Jersey. Sorry, Anthony. Jeff. Good morning. How are you? Jeff, are you just trying to get on the radio? I need to know. No, no I'm not. My wife has having back problems for years. This is a, a local chiropractor in Hoboken, New Jersey. Yeah. She was, she was going to him for months and months and months and months and months and years. And uh, she kept having these lower back problems, kept doing the adjustments. And then, yeah. and then he, well, he slowly tried to convince her that she needed an internal adjustment. So she was asking, well, what does that entail? And he was a little bashful but basically said, I need to put my finger up your ass so I can get to the lower part of your tail. <laughs> <laughs> Internal adjustment, huh? <laughs> Internal adjustment. I don't know if she went for it, but I'm... Wow. What do you mean you don't know if she went for Didn't it? Didn't you ask? What did she say? Mind your business? Right. <laughs> no, but she's like, you know, my back is better. I don't think I need to go anymore. How, so, uh, how is uh, she sitting during dinner? I mean... She's fine. I mean... Uh, Danny, can you do some research? Is this actually something? Internal adjustment. We need to know about internal adjustments. Yeah, did he, did, did, I, like, could she have been going to the guy for days and days and weeks and months and years? <laughs> Worst explanation <laughs> yeah. of time ever. I know, did you hear? For months and months and months and years. That's unbelievable. You usually have to go to 12 of the months before you say years. Uh, yeah. All right, we're looking, we're oh, looking. I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What, I didn't hear what you just said. What you just Good. Said? No, we're trying to see if this is legit or not. I we're doing some research. <laughs> What's that? What? See, we, we didn't get you. Jeff, what? You, uh, you didn't uh, get us either. He tried oh, to do a, I heard you. Oh, shut it. Jeff, leave it to the professionals, please. We're just us. Right. You're just a dopey <laughs> caller. All right, Godspeed. All right. Anything about internal? Yeah, uh, we got something on the internal exam. Yes, yeah, this is a real thing. No. Get fucking the fuck out of here. Yeah. Uh, there is some instructions for preparing for an internal adjustment. It says have uh, the patient evacuate bowels and bladder just for, for just before the adjustment. It oh, is... good, so you can have a little lunch first. <laughs> <laughs> Pain in the coccyx is the indication for <laughs> internal adjustments. Especially if external adjustments haven't been successful in alleviating the uh, patient's complaint. Ah. That's the tailbone, of course. Some pain after a fall or after vaginal childbirth, this can happen. When you go through life with a bad back, who the fuck would do that? Oh. Back pain is awful, though. So you, <laughs> you got to weigh it, right, Jimmy? So you yeah. got to go in and get an internal adjustment. So how is that? Sounds like uh, a win-win to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what? What? what is... What? You have a finger in your asshole and then what? Kind of push on the bone? Why wonder when we could find oh. out exactly what it's all about this from Zach magical. in Indiana. Zach, you've had an internal adjustment? Hey, yeah, guys. Whenever I was... Uh... <laughs> 
Whenever I was like 13, I broke my tailbone. <laughs> and uh, You're either gay or your back really hurt, brother. <laughs> Dude, it was fucked up. Um, but the the lady that was a chiropractor, lady. she would right. reach in. Of course, it's always and, a lady, uh, right? Sure. It, sure wasn't, it, was. it wasn't a guy with big fucking knuckles, sure big hairy knuckles. Sure, it was a lady. But uh, she would reach in. I bet you she was hot too, right? Real hot <laughs> chiropractor. No, all. no? Yeah. all right. Yeah. She was Russian. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, she would like hold the tip of my spine and push down where it was broke and pull back at the same time to try and re-break my spine and get it set right. Ow! And she had a finger in your ass. She had like three. Jesus. Wow! Probably You're why I'm into such whore. deviant sexual lifestyles now. There's nothing worse. Then when there's fingers in your ass and they're trying to break your back. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. Jesus, how do you come that way? <laughs> That's all I got, boys. I'm out. All right. Uh, this guy's a theory on that story that we just had. Uh -huh. Bob, you have a theory? Good evening. Hey there, and then we got a chiropractor that actually does this for a living. Uh, go ahead, Bob. Okay, here's what I think, boys. He, The perf switch went off on him, and when he left that room... He went to the bathroom and worked the man right up to the point yep. of coming. Oh. He, he comes back in the room, unzips his pants, and blasts the load all over her back. Oh, Why would he okay. come on her back? Well, I guess not. Yeah, his face like... would have been really obvious. <laughs> How could else you, do you? Could you turn around, miss? I wonder if he was head. doing an internal adjustment on her. Punch it out. Ooh. All right. I don't know. Rubbing his cock in her butt. Here's a, a chiropractor. You, you stick fingers up uh, people's asses, Dr. Tom. I've never done that. Oh, okay. I've seen it okay. done, and it's the school that they teach it at is kind of like a big running joke with all the other schools, and it's called uh, the Brown Thumb School, and it's been it, it's pretty nasty, and it does work, but it doesn't work for everyone. You actually do stick one or two fingers. Never done it. One or two fingers, and you actually have to pull as hard as you possibly can. I've seen people get lifted off a table, and it hurts. Really That's great. It's like fishing. <laughs> <laughs> like you're noodling for catfish. <laughs> yeah, look, I, what did you do? Like I caught, a, I caught a, uh, an accountant. <laughs> Couldn't think of a job. <laughs> wow. All right. You know what? Dr. Steve needs a phone call today. Uh, Can we take a break before the Dr. Steve phone call? The internal uh, adjustment. Uh, also, we got... Uh, what is that, Dr. Steve? What happens uh, when you put the fingers up the uh, anus? Well, you insert them into the anus, and the coccyx will sometimes move. You really have to know uh, <laughs> that that's, that's the answer. I love the Dr. Steve. <laughs> because uh, fluid... Fluid will build up. Fluid. And, and, then, and then he just rings his fingers out into a wine bottle. <laughs> yeah. Puts a label on it. <laughs> yeah, when there's a significant fluid build up, you, uh... We get it? <laughs> you like fluid? <laughs> he loves fluid. He can't get enough. How else, is, how else is he going to make his wine? His Come wine on. is actually originally known as Thank cyst you. juice. <laughs> <laughs> it's the stuff that happens when you take... The remnants of a hysterectomy and jump on them in work boots. <laughs> we just lost Dr. Steve. We've got to get him back on the phone. Jackie, you, you stepped in the middle of, uh, I don't know. Uh, we were talking about it, this story. A chiropractor came on this woman's lower back. He lost it. He, yeah. uh, you know, she, we talk he about the perv switch on this show. We're, massaging you know. her a little bit, yeah. doing the chiropractic yeah. uh, on her chiropractor. Well, you know how that can happen. Oh, yeah. of course. Well, did, no, he, did he really? Naked. Yeah, he pulled no, but, his hog out. He no, wait a minute, wait a minute. When a, when, wait, a, when a chiropractor's working on somebody, he's not massaged. They're not undressed. Well, he had well, this woman's, like, buttocks showing and her lower back, and he was kind of feeling around, you know, whatever. He was got all on the up and up on. until he left the room, comes back. I guess her head was turned the opposite way. He, she hears a zipper go down and hears what she interpreted as masturbation. Uh, and then they found DNA on her back. Of this guy, uh, Cumsies on the back. He, he no, no, cumsies. okay. And it was his Cumsies. Can on, I ask questions? Yeah. Sure. She's lying there. Mm -hmm. She hears his, his zipper open. Yeah. She hears the sounds of masturbation. This is what we're saying. And then doesn't do anything about it until she goes to the saying. hospital to to have somebody check for DNA. That's yeah. right. She what obviously... about when something warm hit the back, yeah. the lower yeah. back? Wouldn't that be exactly. another clue? Just she... taste it. <laughs> yeah. She obviously was willing, right, Jackie? 
Well, I don't know about <laughs> willing, but she had to be somewhat aware. That something was going on. Right, You know right, what, right. Opie? That bitch wanted it. That's right. That's what no, it sounds seriously. like to That's me. That's what I'm thinking. Not to make a bad pun, but there's holes in the story. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but it led to, I don't know how we got to this point. Was it a white guy? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Doctor. Doctor. Yeah, yeah. Doctor, of course. It's <laughs> There's too many, <laughs> bap, 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 bap. Too many black Dre. chiropractors. <laughs> now, it, then we start talking about... No, chiro- wait, did, what, so what, where what, does it stand? Is, is the guy, he's what? not indicted or anything? Oh, he's arrested. Yeah, he's, he's in front of a fucking, uh, you know... Like, oh, is that him? Yeah. Guilty. Him. Guilty. 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 Lock him up. <laughs> Why is he guilty? Because he's he looks like the he guy looks, who slashed the cabbie. He looks pervy. <laughs> he's white. He looks pervy. Uh, but you know were... what? If he's a chiropractor, how do you guys stand on that? Yeah, it's not a doctor. I, uh, it's not a doctor. It's not real. It's a, I think it's like a you know what? I got some adjustments. voodoo medicine. The adjustments worked. You know what? It's like anything. There's so many people it works for, and you can't tell somebody when they get up and yeah. they feel better. You can't tell them they don't feel better. Mm-hmm. So if it works for there's, you know. But there's voodoo guys out there. They, they shake like salt shakers over your back, and all of a sudden that's supposed to do what something. What is that? See, Jackie knows. I went then to, there's regular chiropractors that are really doing adjustments and trying to get ex, your spine back. My ex-wife's sister sent everything she owned from France in two huge boxes the size of a house. And this poor little man delivered them to our house, so I felt bad. Helped them move them and crunch my knee so the bones crunched together Ooh. so my knee was really bad and all of a sudden i flew out to las vegas and i couldn't walk i actually steve sharippa at the riviera actually had to take me by a golf cart through the <laughs> through the kitchen to get to this uh, and i was like elvis going through, you know, you know, i was singing uh, El- love me tender going right. through the thing but i there were no doctors in las vegas so nancy sends me to one of these guys i don't know what they're called they have a name and I go into this guy's office, and I always say you can tell how bad a doctor is by how many diplomas are on his wall. His entire four walls were full of diplomas, so I knew You're this guy was a sham. And he <laughs> did that. Opie, I sat I'm on his thing. You. You he opened the drawer, took out a vial of pills and put them in your hand and said, hold, close your hand. I closed my hand. He says, now how's your knee feel? I said, it feels exactly the fucking <laughs> same, the you moron. Is he th- he he gave me some pills. <laughs> but he, I wasn't taking them. Right. I, was, I swear to you, I was holding, holding them in, in my hand. hand. No, they do some voodoo shit, some of these guys. That's insane. And the, the rest guy of- had all these... Yeah, uh, and then I... the rest of the chiropractors are all pissed off at those guys. Cause right, because they give giving... them a bad name. Exactly. Oh. So we're talking about this, and then it came up that some of these guys are doing internal exams or internal uh, adjustments. Adjustments. Now, this is where... And that's why we got our, our friend, Dr. Steve, on the line, but we're going to you so, know, so get you oh, to so Steve. Oh, so Dr. Steve is not the guy that's no, invited. No, no, no. Oh, he no. should be. Yeah. But, but <laughs> supposedly, wait, wait. some people's backs are so bad that the chiropractor will stick, uh, in one case that we had on the phone a few minutes ago, three fingers up his ass, and then pull down on his tailbone or something. And adjust well, the wouldn't tailbone. that make you forget about the pain <laughs> yeah. in your back? That's probably why it works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we thought it was bullshit, and then everyone's calling, going, no, I had that done to me. My wife had it done. Oh, that's what uh, how it started. A guy yeah. called up and said, uh, uh, a chiropractor wants to stick fingers up his wife's ass. Yeah. So. Put your finger in my belly so button. We're gonna get that's to the... not my belly button. That's <laughs> yeah. not my finger. That's the oldest <laughs> joke. So, so, Jackie, we're going to get to the bottom of this with our uh, doctor friend, Dr. I don't Steve. want to talk to the doctor until you tell everybody where I'm working Saturday night. Oh, I'm, nice. I'm playing Support. hardball. That's Morton. how I'm not sell- Are you selling tickets? I'm not selling tickets. Uh, in some places, yes. But if you want to see Jackie, um, don't go to Foxwoods. Friday the twenty seventh of uh, I fucked up my own plug. God ah, damn it! See, that's, that's what you get. Thursday Norton. through Saturday, October fourteenth through sixteenth. My tickets go on sale tomorrow morning. How about you? Belmore Theater for Jackie the Joke Man. When is it? This it's, weekend? Yes, yeah, Saturday. This Saturday night at nine thirty because they have a, a film book from nineteen sixty two at seven o'clock. Are so. you kidding? Uh, You're you following a film from nineteen sixty two. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Yeah. I'm only kidding. Yeah. But they oh, okay. finally stopped. Tearing down the old movie theaters. They're mm-hmm. finally renovating them and making them into theaters. And a lot of these old movie theaters are beautiful. This place, I yeah. did, I hosted the uh, New York Film Festival there. And you know, you go into a place with a nice, nice sound system and a nice theater. What do you think? You think about, wow, I'd love to do stand up here. And they said, yes, so we're giving it a shot. But there, has, there hasn't been stand up there before. Jimmy did uh, so, wow. the old porn theater in Bayshore. Yeah. That's now, was a that theater like too. a vaudeville theater? Uh, I don't know. It was, it was good, though. It's an old porn really theater. But I, now they're br- bringing in uh, the YMCA. I love those little theaters. One you know, the and the theaters, seats come yeah, all the way up. comedy, man. Uh, we, got this, we got Dr. Steve on the line. Dr. Steve, internal oh, adjustments is what we're talking about today. Yeah. Do you know anything about this, uh, doctor? Uh, well, uh, I didn't have training in that, although I do 
do internal exams. Do do. <laughs> this, this doctor has had his fingers up a lot of people's asses, Jackie. You know what? I the great part lot. is not sticking your finger in a woman's ass. The great part is handing her a bill for it. <laughs> <laughs> She's writing out the check and he's sniffing his finger. <laughs> well, where do you stand with chiropractors, Dr. Steve? Say that again? Where do you stand as far as uh, chiropractors? Oh, I have great respect Chiro. for uh, uh, chiropractors who practice chiropractic. You know, there's uh, there have been uh, lots of studies that have shown that uh, chiropractic treatments work very well for low back pain. And, mm. uh, the you know, the guys that I know, I, you know, I just have chiropractors that I sent my patients to, and they were, you know, good, solid chiropractors and did but what they were trained to do. Now, this thing about internal adjustments, if you think about it, if your theory is that manipulating the spine uh, uh, can help organs that are, you know, that are fed by the uh, nerves that come from the spine, then you're going to want to do internal exams because the only place you can get a hold of the coccyx, which is the tailbone, uh, would be to stick your finger up somebody's ass and, and yank on it. There's no other way to really to do it. So. <laughs> Get the no. fuck out of here. Dr. Steve, <laughs> i got to ask you a question. Do you think when they were sitting around naming the bones that they were having a few beers and laughing their balls off when they named it the coccyx? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Of course. Are you seriously saying if they put the, the, you put your the, fingers up somebody's butt, you can you can manipulate their inner or well, uh, uh. Yes, you can. Now, whether that is actually does you any good or not is something that's debatable. Wow. But if if you believe that, then what, the only way that you can get a hold of those coccyx bones <laughs> would be because if you think about it, feel back there, you can feel your tailbone going right down. Well, I've had my finger up my ass since we've been on the phone, yeah. Doc. <laughs> How's your back? Well, you can, yeah, I don't know. It feels so good. <laughs> You can feel on the outside, and you can feel your tailbone going down, curving down toward your asshole, ah. and then it becomes sort of soft and fleshy. And if you Ugh, imagine Jesus. sticking your finger in there, you could manipulate. Well, you imagine. Manipulate. You know what? <laughs> you couldn't write this. You couldn't say, oh, we need a bit for the radio tomorrow. No, Let's no, say no. that chiropractors put their fi Would a I chiropractor have the woman or the guy there... When they come in, they say, look, I think I'm going to be uh, working your lower back and maybe digitally manipulating you, <laughs> or does he just do that as a matter of course and hope that the girl doesn't feel the sperm hit the back of her? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Like, right. what's, what, yeah. is, what are you doing? How do you, how do you make the move yeah. from, all right, I'm going to make an adjustment on your spine to I need to stick three fingers in your ass? Three! Well, yeah. What do you do to, what do you do to yeah. the patient here? You go, all right, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Prison lube. Oh, that is an God. uncomfortable conversation conversation between patient and doctor right you know what you i'd like to, to know point i would love to know the the uh the relationship of the in occurrence like how often it ha happens according to how attractive the patient uh, is. Yeah. yeah that'd be an interesting study <laughs> it's a more yeah. broad yeah. you're not, 450, you're not 450, that. 65 year old woman he's he never had his fist in there no that's no great. one over 250 pounds has ever had a coccyx adjustment <laughs> uh, they're walking around with really bad backs yeah exactly all over cheerleader the place. that pulled something at uh, the last football game yeah. she was cheering at suffering from a shoulder injury <laughs> <laughs> you walk into his office and he has eight by tens of all the women who's who yeah. digitally <laughs> taken three fingers you know the, the uh, adjustment yeah. Yeah. Come on, do you want to belong to the three-finger club or don't you? <laughs> uh, 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 Steve, stay on the line. We're going with Bob and Philly. He's on the line with you. Go ahead, Bob. <laughs> this is unbelievable. We saved this shit for you, Jackie, because we love it. This is great. All right, Bob, go ahead. I just wanted to give you guys some legitimacy, uh, legitimacy to the story. Um, my sister-in-law is actually going to be graduating uh, out of the New York Chiropractic College in the near future, and that is actually a legitimate uh, adjustment. So she's a uh, lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> It is what it is, man. I mean, you know, she, they don't practice it in school, obviously, but they talk about it, the technique and the whole nine yards. I mean, oh, just, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, you got to practice on something. Oh, that would turn be left at the cobwebs. <laughs> <laughs> it just snaps like a graham cracker. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yuck. Uh, so, wow. Okay, so, so it's legit, uh, and she practiced it. Well, she does not practice that adjustment specifically, unfortunately. Like it would be good to hear some good stories about that. But, I would uh, only exclusively do that as a, a chiropractor. Only That's internal. how you would advertise on only TV. Only women. Right. <laughs> I'm designing my shingle as we speak. Yeah. No, 
A chiropractor, as a matter of course, doesn't put on the rubber gloves. Oh, right? Oh, wow. He, and he no. can't go in there, you know, all of a sudden. So if all of a sudden you hear the snap of the rubber glove, you know he's going in, right? So don't share grapes with a chiropractor. You know, if I was a gynecologist, <laughs> if I was a gynecologist, I would put on the rubber gloves at the end of the day to seal in the flavor. <laughs> <laughs> the flavor. I, never, I never go to my act on the show, but it fits too perfect. That sounded really awkward. <laughs> but it's still really <laughs> funny. Seal in really the funny. flavor. Seal in the flavor. Mm. All right, let's go to a real chiropractor. Thank you, Bob. Now we move up to. Uh, James in Cleveland and Wait, Dr. Opie. Steve still on the line. He really did legitimize it. He just said well, this he chiropractor is really going to uh, bring it forward. Go ahead, James. Yeah, You're a chiropractor, forward. right? Yeah, yes, sir. I practice in uh, I have an office in Cleveland and in Akron, and uh, there is I'm familiar with the adjustment. We it was taught in passing, but at the same, basically in the same breath, it was pretty much said. Don't ever do it. Yeah, this and, sounds uh, like one of these procedures that is taught, but people are like, eh, you know, you, you, you could get away with it sometime. You know what we're talking about? <laughs> Enter at own risk. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're asking for a lot of lawsuits. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sure yeah, it's legit, yeah. but, you know, yeah. now you're risking yeah. a lot of lawsuits. That's it. That's it. I've, I've been practicing 13 years, never a lawsuit, and there's no fucking way I would do that one. No, no way, way, right? Oh. Do they no. put on rubber gloves? Yeah, you're supposed to glove, glove up, lube up, and in you go. What What if she's an 18 year old uh, cheerleader like we were talking? Again, have that would be in the room. That would be legitimate. All right, Dr. Chaperone. Steve, you have to wreck Enjoy. everything. Really? Oh, God, you'd have to have a yeah. chaperone. A chaperone. Thanks, Dr. What Steve. You do? How, oh, how fucking unsexy you need news yeah. cameras. To, is the chaperone to make sure you properly <laughs> insert your digits? Yeah. yeah, what are you doing there? You need a chaperone. <laughs> Chaperone's <laughs> jerking off yeah. in the corner. How great would it be if the chaperone was worse? It's not, <laughs> it's that it's not a junior high school dance. You know. That's not it's yeah. like That's it's like the guy at the pawn shop watching Zed fucking fucking Marcellus Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> Standing in the corner, yeah, you fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. One more finger. One more finger. <laughs> ah, you, Steve, you really did remove the sexy really, uh, man. We're, we're, uh, we're trying to get yeah. some guys, you know, a little horny well, on their way to work. Have the girls' parents come in. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> they sit there. Now, uh, some you type know. Of constable. Show footage from Calcutta. Uh, <laughs> yeah, really. Now we're talking <laughs> hidden camera. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, All right, now we, uh, thank you, James. YouTube video. Now we move to a guy that actually had this done on Monday. See what we do, Jackie? What? Very organized on this show. Oh, sure. A guy? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Had it done <laughs> on, yes. on, uh, on, uh, on Monday, Rob in Tampa. <laughs> I have one question. Are you sitting down? <laughs> yeah, does the doctor say that? All right, look, you better sit down for this, yeah. but only for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Rob, go ahead. All right, hey, I got two experiences, actually. Uh, same doctor, one was about five years ago. I had a, uh, a water uh, jet skiing accident, and uh, I couldn't even walk. And I was in so much pain. So I went to the doctor, and he's, like, checking everything out. And then he's like, all right, take your pants off and bend over the bench. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what I'd, for? He goes, pick wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, sorry. So he goes, uh, no, so he goes uh, well, I, I got to check the inside of your tailbone to make sure it's not fractured. Uh, what happened was I, I jumped awake on a, on a jet ski, and I came down and just compressed my whole tailbone. Oh, that'll hurt. Wow. <laughs> And it, had, it just happened to be this little uh, red-headed doctor with these big, fat fucking fingers, man. Great big fucking Donnie Most fingers. That's what you want. Donnie Most. Donnie Most. So, so he was well hung. <laughs> yeah. Big, but, uh, big ginger fucking hands. No, <laughs> notice Dr. Steve doesn't jump in to Yeah, no one needs a story. chaperone there. Yeah, no. Dr. Thanks, Steve's Dr. got his Steve. pants down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You need a uh, cracker in the middle of the room. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, sir. You're supposed to have a chaperone, even when. All right, enough about the chaperone. 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 Now, wait, but this is Buzz different. Kill. If he's checking for broken bones or something, this yeah, isn't yeah, a guy adjusting different. your back and sticking his finger in your ass. This is a guy seeing if there's actual damage. How that... about it, fucking X-ray, Jackie? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to give the guy the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> yeah. Do, yeah. They, do, do they numb your shit before they do this or what? <laughs> No, he just he just lubed it up. Yeah, the uh, fuck out of put here. on a glove, lubed it up, and stuck his fat finger up. So it gave you your medicine. Around. Was he a good kisser? <laughs> <laughs> he bit his back. <laughs> oh god! Like a lion cub. <laughs> How did it feel, bro? Oh, uh, it was it was first time experience. So it wasn't fun. No. But, uh, 
He, uh, the worst part was after that, he put a box of tissues in front of me and he's like, clean up. Oh, that's the yeah. worst. I had that at the urologist. Oh, that's yeah. great. You clean up. Yeah, you feel really. It, you feel so dirty when yeah. that happens because, uh, you know. Yeah. Did it help at all? What's that? Did it help? No, I mean, I'd go back to the office and take a shit. That's about it. So you still have a bad fucking back. It's great. And a bad back, and now you're just not the man you once were. Right. I Nothing swear worse. to you, the last time I went, you know, I'm old, and so you got to go for a prostate exam once in a while. And the last time I went to see the, the, the doctor, it was like my third time to the guy. And he's, was a, he's a fan, and he's a really nice guy. <laughs> so he's, you know, the, the inevitable, he's putting on the glove, and he's got to go in and... The doctor actually said to me, do you want me to dim the lights? Being funny, but I'm like, oh, I swear he said that. I won't say his name, and I'm sure I'd like to give him credit, but I don't know if he's... Steve. But I'm like, Aww. when somebody's doing that, no matter how well you know them and how great a doc... I mean, he's got a beautiful office in Glen Cove, and he's a billion billionaire, but you don't you fuck don't around when that. you're going in there. And you know, like... You don't want to hear and jokes. You no, don't wanna, and no. To have a, and to have a fan doing that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bad enough. He's a fan going in, you know. We fuck our listeners all the time. You don't want them fucking you. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that is uh, awful. Here's another guy that had the procedure done last Friday. Nate in Maine. I, we need more of these stories. We need women calling. Shop no yeah, exactly. Shit. Where are the women? Shopperall. Uh, Nate. <laughs> Just wreck the fucking vibe. Hey, I got a cheerleader. What should I do? Ah, uh, read transcripts from the Yates trial. <laughs> <laughs> fucking creep. Uh, you know, I, I, one second, Nate. I can't defend this. You know, I said I'd rather take the wheelchair. And Cody in Indiana goes, uh, I'd rather take a wheelchair, Ope, huh? But doctor checked your ass when you had strep throat. That is That's a true, true story. That's true, yeah. <laughs> So I did get fingers well, up the ass for strep throat. I, I I can't even explain. If you're that Sometimes sick, you don't care where they go. <laughs> Thank you. Strep Thank you for helping I'll, me out. I'll trade fingers in my ass if they're going to cure my throat. Right? <laughs> right. I'm going to give you this one. I'm not giving you the right. next one. <laughs> I'll give you a pass Just give you one. The part right. that helped your throat was when he made you clean his fingers with your mouth. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, fecal matter has oh. uh, oh. eradicate the oh, streptococcus. Right. So I can't defend that, Cody. You got me on that. Nate, go ahead. I love doing the Dr. Steve. It's amazing. It's all I want to do. It's fun. You know, we, we let something go by. Uh oh. The guy said that they teach you how to do it, they, but they don't show you really how to do it, which means the first time the doctor does that, he hasn't been in there. To, he hasn't yeah. done just... it yet. Yeah, yeah. Poking, so it's like, poking around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Under like it's a new neighborhood. Imagine if he goes the wrong direction, he grabs your balls and picks you up that way. <laughs> How's like, that feel? No! <laughs> so there's a way to train students how to do this stuff, though. When we learned how to do pelvic exams, we had volunteers that were called talking pelvises. And, That's uh, what all women should be called. <laughs> <laughs> I've been called a lot of things, Norton. Yapping would be better. Yeah, exactly. A babbling pelvis. Yeah. Babbling. <laughs> How about moaning? <laughs> <laughs> moaning pelvises. Hey, pussy mouth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Steve. Hey, Nate, you had this done uh, for you? Yeah, last Yeah, time. good for you. Uh, Antonella, <laughs> Long Island. We have a woman. Oh, oh, fuck the guy go. where we can talk to uh, a woman about it. Antonella, you had this done? Yes, I did. Yeah? I I was uh, about three years she ago. Sounds like a victim. The room never yeah. has been this quiet. Yeah, I know. Okay. I was three years ago. I fell at a party, at my son's christening party. I fell right on my on butt. a doctor's hand. <laughs> <laughs> you fell right at your son's butt. christening party? <laughs> yeah. Drunk. And, uh, <laughs> no. I know. I hardly walk. I went to a pain management specialist, and they referred me to a chiropractor who said I have to get uh, the adjustment done. And he went in there, um, he gloved up, he went in, and he pulled it right out. It was painful, but then I had instant relief. Oh. It was amazing. Well, so did he. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wash. It's a wash. So you spoiled your kid's christening and then had a finger shoved up your ass. What an enchantress. <laughs> what she, <laughs> so you know what she did? She went and had another kid and fell at that christening, too. Yeah. <laughs> did, did yeah, she's he, holding a baby looking for the banana peel. <laughs> Stupid whore. What did, the, what did he do in there? Yeah, we need to know what, what he did in there. And, <laughs> Stupid and, whore. And, it's whore. a listener, Norton. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, really I really apologize. Are. Stupid. Do you renounce Satan? I do. Ah! <laughs> Stupid. Antonella, <laughs> what did you feel? Did it feel good? It actually felt very good. All right. Oh, at least she's honest. Okay. Antonella, do you do that sexually yeah. with your husband? That act? No, no. You don't funny. Oh, so the doc no. gets in and he don't. Yeah, that must that's sit great. well at dinner. Yeah, no kidding. 
And what did it feel like? Uh, like was he grabbing at your bone? Yes, it actually That's felt like fucked. that. How long was he in there for? It felt like that that somebody was hour and a half. <laughs> but it was an instant relief. It was great. Yeah, good for you. How many fingers? Ask her if she had a uh, shit. Never mind. No, go ahead. Oh, no. Ahead, Dr. Steve. No, Why you can ask her. She is, you can ask her. She's right on the phone, so you can yeah, ask her. Go ahead. Her. No, I, I just wanted to know about the chaperone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Drop that. Everybody's hard on those away. Uh, uh, just, the word chaperone is like, chaperone. it's just terrible. Mm. I have an 18-year-old cheerleader here. Oh, put on beheading videos. <laughs> oh, keep this safe for yeah. everybody. Beheading videos. <laughs> Oh, I'll take the Where's his mind going? Anything I love to mind. take. All right, uh, Antonella, thank you. <laughs> thank you. We got a guy fell out of a tree as a kid. Doctor stuck thumb up ass to fix it. All right. God, are we learning some shit today? Oh, no. Anthony want, from want... Capistrano. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want you want Brent? Let's go to Brent. It sounds Brent. like a Rockwell painting, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Rockwell. <laughs> oh no! You're funny. That was him. <laughs> well, Joe, yeah, I'm giving you credit. Thank you. I should have not. <laughs> Why not? Uh, Brent, go ahead. <laughs> Brock, yeah, how you doing, guys? Good morning. Hey. Uh, I was a little kid. We built a tree house, and you know how you like pound in the little steps to get up the tree. Sure. And uh, I went to go. I was probably like sure. ten feet up in the air. The one board pulled out. I fell. We had a little picket fence right by the tree where we keep the garbage can. Oh. Five little kid feet. Didn't fucking touch the ground when I hit it. Oh. 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 I screamed. I was probably like, what, eight, nine years old, fucking running around, sure. and they took me to the hospital, and the doctor, and I, you know, I'm a little kid, sticks his big, fat, meaty thumbs up my fucking ass. I'm screaming. My grandfather's there. My mom and dad are there. And Avoiding eye contact with you. <laughs> yeah, chaperoning, of chaperoning, course. Right. That's per Dr. Steve. Yeah, thanks, Dr. Steve. So wait, you had, did you have wood in your ass? What happened? What was you doing? <laughs> uh, there was uh, the, the top of the fence posts were not, like, pointy sharp. Oh, okay. They were, had a little bit of a, like, a roundness to them. God, but you could take a lot. I don't care yeah. who you are. Right. You, you Good for you. Tree, you land on your fence. Mm -hmm. you know, that's a bad fucking day. Oh, wow. And Grandpa's going, I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing it all wrong, Doc. <laughs> yeah. Take the pain. <laughs> the thumbs up the ass worked for you. Fucking my little Cossack, I snapped it. The doctor had to realign it. Now every time I do sit-ups, or if I'm on a hard floor surface. You have a hard on, you don't know why? <laughs> <laughs> Just remembering the doctor and his Greek fingers and his doctor breath. <laughs> Smell of medicine. <laughs> fingers and it felt great <laughs> all right brother I, uh, oh, all right. Right. that's just amazing <laughs> wow i uh, hope uh, they were playing schindler's list on the walls <laughs> oh, lest it become too sexy yeah, fluid old belt <laughs> <laughs> wow. dr steve's made guys come though jackie tell right, him just by talking milking the prostate <laughs> yeah by Milking the prostate. He milks prostate for a <laughs> No, he's doing Dr. Steve impressions. <laughs> he, he, Dr. Steve's doing it. It's fun, isn't it? <laughs> he's got guys... Uh, Do you have any openings? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Steve, you've made guys come, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't make them come. They didn't have an orgasm, but they would... Uh, Spray fluid. You know, yeah. Ejaculate. Yeah. Would. They would, <laughs> and it's not even ejaculation. It's just... It's just hydraulics, you know. Cleaning, cleaning out the yeah. tubes type thing? Yeah, simple. It's the type of clear stuff you leak like when your team wins a game. You know, it's not a full cum, but <laughs> just the tip gets wet. It's, it's just fun. It's yeah. just fun. Uh, seminal fluid, we're calling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There you go. It's like when your dick has a mini stroke. Yeah. <laughs> Might I reference Edmund Muskie again? Seminal fluid sounds dirtier than sperm. You know, it, it really does. Exactly. It really does. <laughs> hey, let's go to Amanda. Let's see what Amanda Oh, has. well. A girl uh, discussion. Uh, Amanda. Good morning, guys. Ooh, Hi. Amanda. Hi. Amanda says, Hello. Hi. Well, listen to that voice. How hot are you? Hello, madam. Hello. <laughs> Steve from Bay says, Dr. Steve calls it pre-wine. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Steve makes uh, really nice shitty one, Steve. wine if you want one. Oh. Jackie. Oh, yeah, you don't drink. Sorry. Uh, Amanda, go ahead. Um, a few years ago, I used to work for an insurance company in the fraud department. And I was responsible for taking phone calls from doctors and providers and all this other stuff. Anyway, there was a doctor. Or just have this girl talk in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right, get to the sexy. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I like that. Anyway, um, doctor would have his patients masturbate in order to fit their um, contraception devices correctly. And he was pissed off that he wasn't getting um, paid by our insurance company. 
and wanted to know why, but he was under full investigation because he wanted the girls to masturbate, saying, well, when the contraception device is in, you want to make sure that it's there properly and that it's not going to come out and this sort of so you made everything Oh, what a dumbass that guy was. <laughs> yeah, I think he should win a Nobel Peace Prize. Yeah, That's dumbass. Brilliant. Well, no, but here's the thing. He, he got almost got away with it. Yeah. What? Yeah. He didn't get caught until he went to the insurance company. Trying oh, yeah, what a to dumb. Oh, You're right. See, that is dumb. He got greedy. You're right. He did get greedy. If you want to see if it doesn't come out, how about you put a trampoline in the office? <laughs> I get on this for two minutes. If it doesn't fall out, you're fine. <laughs> Three cartwheels. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a jerk. Yeah, that is pretty dumb. God, he fucked it up. Well, yeah. he might have been doing it for years and years and saying, sure. what could be better? Right. Now I, I should get, get money for this. Should be able to get right. a few bucks. Yeah, it became legitimate in his mind all of a sudden. <laughs> yes. yes. Chaperone. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love the chaperone, yeah, no. man. Amanda, That's thank you. Uh, <laughs> phones are fucking lit with this subject. Porter, Wisconsin, what's up? Porter, how? Huh? Yeah. I was just wondering uh, what position are the patients in when they're getting their internal exam? Oh. Dr. Steve? Okay. Yeah, there's two that you can do. You can either have the patient in what's called dorsal lithotomy position, which is where you have them lay on their back and put their feet in stirrups. Oh. You, can, you can do it that way. Or you can or, have them kneel over your face. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can be strapped to a table with a baseball in their mouth. <laughs> a ball gag. <laughs> we uh, use the ball gag. Yeah. They do a headstand and you point down. Uh, sorry, what's the other one? Oh! Never mind. Wait, we got a guy in uh, stirrups. Uh, old yeah. school. Yeah, that is an old yeah, school. Yeah, it looks like the 40s. Yes. Wow. Black and white yeah. picture. It's a picture out of fucking. I uh, got. What's the other one? You make them touch <laughs> their toes? Yeah, no, the, yeah, the other one is you just bend them over a barrel. A barrel. A barrel? A barrel? What fucking. What are you. Well, there's doc, always, there's always a barrel well, in the doctor's <laughs> waiting. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're wine getting a barrel. fucking pickle. He jams his fingers in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Danny. Oh, oh God. That's, that's going to make Jackie throw up. Oh. What's wrong with that? Yeah, what happened there? Right. Oh. Uh, happened. A little mishap. Uh, do, yeah, doc, the guy's Dr. Steve. Back feels much better. For, uh, <laughs> for, you know, the discomfort, which position would you say is uh, better? Uh, really? Really, for checking the prostate. Uh, the the best position would be just bending over, touching your toes. Or I used to just have people grasp the the table, and uh, uh, and bend over, and then you can, and then you'd sit on a stool. <laughs> Depends. Insert joke here. Yeah, and, of course. Uh, yeah. Bite and, this and bullet. Insert your finger that way, and it's it's a little more natural that way, and then they can sort of it's not natural themselves. It's the dorsal lithotomy position. <laughs> I was in. I just think the said. word natural. I right? know. It's just gonna, That's a more natural. 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 Dorsal lithotomy. <laughs> It's the name of a black NFL player. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Sorry, uh, well, your finger bends in the same direction that the rectum ah. kind of curves, so that's why I... The come-hither uh, kind of finger, right? Yes. yes. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to Ron in Cleveland. Ron? Good morning, boys. Hey, Ron. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Hi. Hey, I'll throw, I just wanted to throw this one in real quick. I, I had a prostate check. I, I went to a doctor, and my male doctor had left the practice, and him and his wife actually had the practice. They got divorced. So I went for my physical, and I went ahead and just went and seen his uh, ex-wife. So I had the infamous uh, female uh, doctor oh. give me the old prostate check. So that, that was rather interesting. But the thing is, she really did lighten the mood when she says, be careful, because I've been known to push guys uh, out through the window when I do this. Oh, well, a little joke. It's great. That's nice. And you sort of strap it on that special belt. <laughs> <laughs> I would so rather have a female doctor do that. Well, I mean, it actually, it, it, it was more I, I don't think I'm going out on a limb. But, but was she a bull dyke or a little Asian? Yeah, cutie? we don't know what she looked like. like. Russian? Uh, no, actually, she's a little German lady. Ah, oh. probably, in her, probably in her mid forties. Yeah, good. <laughs> Hi, Alanis. You think she enjoys that? <laughs> I don't know, but I'll tell you what. I've never. She really went up there. I, I swear to God, it almost felt like it was coming out of my throat. <laughs> wow. So, but, but yeah. So, but bottom line is, if you do have a female doctor. I thought it was more comfortable. So that's, I just wanted to share that. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Make sure some Gestapo is around. Oh, yeah. to watch. <laughs> oh. yeah. <laughs> Wowie. Uh, Joe, what do you say, Joe? Hey, has anybody noticed that Dr. Steve sounds like Jim Florentine with an education? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to have, uh, I need a chaperone for my big, huge balls. <laughs> Good observation, sir. Excellent. 
All right, I guess I guess we did it. Yeah, that's uh, talk about cupping the balls. We I'm can exhausted. Balls. Why, uh, would... uh, Greg the trucker? Why not? Go ahead, Greg. What's going on, boys? Hi, how you doing? Pretty good, Doctor Steve. Now, when you're yeah. checking the prostate, do you cup the balls from behind or do you, do you reach around? <laughs> Think you need a reach around or a cupping of balls, sir? All right, we got. We Doctor Steve is a professional. Kayla. Right. Yeah, I went and thought I was just going for um, acid reflux, and it was like a hot, smoking hot young doctor. I had never met him before, and he was like, "Okay, we're going to do an exam." And I thought it was odd that I had to disrobe and put one of their little gowns on, and he could get his chaperone, who is this gorgeous blonde girl. And he ends up sticking his finger in there. And when it was done, I thought, well, I was just here for, you know, my throat. And it was supposed to be I was going to have follow-ups. But the chaperone, the hot-smoking girl, was the same girl that took my insurance card. So I think they were just kind of having fun. Wasn't this an episode of Three's Company? (laughs) 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 Exactly. Make fun all you want. She had my attention. (laughs) No kidding, man. Yeah, he's got his finger in your ass, and like the Norman Fell is looking through the window. <laughs> oh, his eyes were going glossy over there. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like, all right, then the blonde comes in. And, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, so that that sounds kind of nice. Yeah. He was gorgeous. I'm fairly certain that was just for them and had nothing to do with why I was there. It was just they knew you wouldn't talk. Acid <laughs> reflux, yeah, what the fuck is he doing? Jeez, yeah. Yeah. trying to close the flap at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, through the back. <laughs> yeah. You know, at the end, she says she likes my tattoos, and it was all very romantic, and I thought maybe we would all go for a drink, but it was, I'd never fixed my gas for faster. I just never went back. Why? What's Why wrong with you? Back? Seemed like you enjoyed Silly. it. Silly. Yeah. Well, yeah, and then I never told anybody, like, is that normal? Do you go and have hot people stick fingers in you? What and they bring dork. in hot girls. And so. Wow, you must have been. Did Were you turned on when you saw, like, the, the hot doctor was going to do that to you? I was turned on by him. And then when she came in, I thought, well, you know. I, that's different. Did your but, paper okay. gown have a little moisture on it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Were you getting a little wet? A little moisture? Uh, no. Maybe if she hadn't come in. I don't know. Maybe the talk about the tattoos. The whole thing was just very strange. I just thought now we were all really good friends. Now, this was in Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know you know, she's digging it if uh, the doctor doesn't have to grab any lube. He just has to wipe yeah. from be- front to back <laughs> yeah. and slide it in. Ready. Already. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Luby looped. Mm. And under pressure, I just kind of got funny and was like, you know, well, are we going to do this with my throat, too? Like, why are we, where are we, why are we starting at this end? Oh, you got, oh, like, oh, you got a little frisky, didn't you? Yeah. Oh. It was more nerves, I think. Just the, the humor part was like, that's great. That part worked well. Now let's check on my throat. Yeah, you really liked it. That's mm. good. Well, I hope they were showing Holocaust pictures <laughs> during the... Uh, <laughs> keep it on the up and off. Uh, yeah, yeah, I hope they were playing uh, audio from yeah, Joel Steinberg's at least testimony. A, at least you had a story for the Thanksgiving dinner table, you know? Yeah, Jeez. just more of a fuck you, Steve. So don't worry uh, anybody with a yeah. shit. Just thumb through yeah. photos yeah. of the Tate house. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. I got an 18-year-old here while burp hot dog burps in her face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Steve can't kill the buzz because sometimes the chaperones are smoking hot yeah. girls. Yeah, I right don't Kayla, bring the hotness uh, back to this topic. Yeah. Thank you. And Let's... right in Dr. Steve's face about right. the chaperone. That's right. Hmm. What else is going on? The cabby thing, the tiger thing. Matt. I heard uh, on one of the promos, uh, Ronnie's back. Is he good? Is he fine? Because he has a little burst appendix. I just hope he's uh, he's okay. All my best wishes out to Ronnie Benning. I send Ron a couple of mediocre wishes. Oh, mediocre wishes? I don't give my best wishes No best? No. He gets a couple of nice wishes. Who gets your best wishes, then? Um, Does your mom get your best wishes? I can think of a couple of Amish guys that are getting my best wishes. Oh, shit. (laughs) Boy. (laughs) (laughs) Two Amish men face incest, bestiality charges, and Grant count at you. Wow. I have to... Two Amish brothers, uh, the string of sexual assault charges... They committed incest and, and bestiality. They said that they had sex with uh, one's nineteen, one's eighteen. A bunch of children, oh, children under the age of thirteen. Oh, okay. without great bodily harm, which I guess means your dick is not large. <laughs> Attempted first sexual degree of a child under the age of thirteen, without great bodily harm. Two counts of incest, exposing genitals of, of or, or pubic area. Two counts of sexual gratification with an animal. 
The incidents occurred over a four-year period. I think one of the animals was a cow and one was a horse. They're wild. These guys rule. I'm a, I'm a sure <laughs> crazy That's what happens people. when you stick people on a farm, say, hang out and have fun. <laughs> yeah. You fuck anything. And make them build houses all day. Fuck yeah. the kids, the animals, a butter churn. Yeah. It's going to come out another way. Fuck We're em. doing a dick raising today. <laughs> yeah. 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 I bet you the Swiss cheese is in bad shape, too, if you examine it. <laughs> bad shape. <laughs> the animals are refusing to press charges. Due to embarrassment. <laughs> to walk up to the blind girl and tell her it's a butter churn. <laughs> that would be funny, right? She's just cranking on your dick and she's blind. <laughs> I had to reiterate. It worked. <laughs> it won me over. <laughs> ah, shit. Wow. <laughs> Who puts her dick in a cow? Yeah, that's fucking... Uh, oh. I will never understand the animal... No, no, certain animals. Oh, yeah. uh, the cute hold ones. on, let's slow down a little bit. Let's look at the cow pussy, and then we could make uh, all the all right we want. Cow pussy, chicken pussy. I mean, because the horse pussy, if you remember, <laughs> not not bad. Yeah, looked like a wallet. Not Smells bad. like a horse, I'm sure. Oh God, yeah, it's right next to the horse asshole. Let's see what it, the horse's oh, ass. Oh Jesus, okay, yeah. Can I see the cow pussy? Oh God, that's it's giving birth. How could you do you that? You can't tell. How about one that's not giving birth? Exactly. Yeah. How about just a nice juicy cow How about pussy? a pure cow pussy? Yeah, something hot, a virgin. <laughs> right. Thanks, Kenny. <laughs> Let's see a nice, oh. tight cow pussy. Every picture of cow pussy, they're doing something to it, or something's flying out of it. What is that? Mm. Looks like a pasta maker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Ron Paul Peel or something. Exactly, Chip. <laughs> Making some cow pastas, you know. Yeah, hard to get cow pussy um, without something uh, disgusting just dropping out of it. I, but I just don't get the animal, the bestiality thing. When you see the horse fuck video from uh, Seattle, I mean, that doesn't at least make you understand how it could be fun. <laughs> <laughs> like the first 10 no. inches, you're like, that would be all right. First 10. Jesus. <laughs> like the first 10 by 6 <laughs> wow. inches of horse dick. Oh. Well, the Amish are getting crazy, huh? Yeah, let's say hi uh, to Larry in Tennessee. It's Larry, taking shit. Hello, bo -bo boys. Hello. Cows get a lot of fish up their ass and pussies and stuff, huh? All right, why don't you just say it? Yeah. cows are lucky devils? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at cow pussy. Okay, it looks um very meaty, puffy. Jimmy. What it do you looks think? Uh, wet and it's pinkish. Yeah, his hair's all shit. shit. <laughs> the guy, now the guy's putting his fist in. How are you gonna ever make a cow come? <laughs> you can fuck a cow you as care. hard as you want. You care about making the animal come if you're oh, what's the, yeah, practicing it, what, bestiality? A man is not a real man. The animal doesn't come and collapse on the floor. <laughs> it's not a crime if the thing doesn't feel it. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. If they're just it's sitting the there, rule book. it's still chewing its cud. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's grazing. If it had no idea that it had a fucking Jim Norton penis in it, then it's not a crime. It's not rape if the victim doesn't stop eating. <laughs> if, if, if the victim is still enjoying hay, you're not committing a rape. Nope. Uh, so what's happening to these Amish guys charged with having sex with at least, at least yeah. six children, a cow and a horse? Jesus. Yeah. Are they uh, the subject fuck? to the normal laws or oh, yeah. the oh, yeah. Amish laws or some shit? The normal laws. Yeah? Oh, fuck, yeah. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. I thought maybe it was like some wacky cult or something. You know? I think American Indians, too, like even though they have their own laws and tribal councils, you can't be a kid fucker and, and not have the government. Have the in. feds step in on you? Yeah. Let's mm. continue with the debauchery, man. A woman nabbed for autoerotic crime or the chiropractor story? Oh, autoerotic. And I know they probably spelt that. A-U-T-O. I know this story. A Cincinnati woman was simultaneously masturbating with a sex toy mm -hmm. and watching a pornographic video while driving <laughs> last week. Wow. Fantastic. What a good egg. Yeah. Not a pretty egg, though. Oh, what? They got a picture of her? Calandra oh. Hamilton. Oh, Jesus. It's not a black woman Christ. crime. That's a white woman thing. I'm surprised. Yes. That's absolutely a white woman Again, thing. Again, we're seeing this trend. Pulled over last Tuesday <laughs> evening and a traffic stop triggered when cops noticed she was driving a 2008 oh, Pontiac. Triggered. With overly tinted windows. That'll get you every time. Why are people her? doing that? That dark tint? Yeah, you gotta watch that. Uh, that's when officers noticed that Hamilton's pants were unbuttoned and she had a vibrator in her lap. All right, Hamilton. Are you allowed to do that in your car? No, no I don't know. Why not? <clears throat> I think it's uh, probably a distraction. But wait, what's the crime, though? How could they arrest her if she just had her pants unbuttoned? That's nobody's business. That's what I'm saying. 
A uh, question by cops. Hamilton admitted to engaging in auto-erotic oh. manipulation. It revealed that she has also been watching a porno movie that was playing on the laptop of a friend in the passenger seat. Oh. It's being dirty. Mm. Was she driving okay? They they pulled her over for the driving tinted window Driving with shit. impaired alertness. Really? Yeah. How humiliating. Why and, would you admit that? And then she was charged with possession of drug paraphernalia. Oh, oh. crack pipe. Well. Broken pieces of crack pipe in her purse. All right, now we're getting back into the normal crack. crimes. <laughs> crack! <laughs> now we're dealing. Now we're getting back into racial lines with these crimes. <laughs> oh, aunt. Oh, you know, it's true. It's not be so fresh. <laughs> crack, crack, crack. Through. That guy was my idol on the fucking train. <laughs> uh, train guy. What a dirty birdie he was. <laughs> Dude, it is. That was. She, I loved her for doing it that way. Oh, your night is fucking over. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, he fucking well, showed his dick to the wrong New Yorker. The wrong I was gonna, bitch. Broad. If you're going to show your cock, you got to know who you're showing it to, man. Yeah, yeah, you really He do. picked the worst woman. He, he, he a fiery a, redhead. A timid a timid woman that's going to be frightened. A little, yeah. Not a, a, some a little, a little yeah. timid broad. Not some henna head that's going to come oh. running at you like a maniac. He's lucky she didn't just bite the dick right off. Oh, right on the here. subway. Come here, you. But a public shaming like that, and he just stood there ashamed. Yeah, nothing. Where was he going to go? He's on a train. And the guy's trying to take a, another guy's trying to take a cell phone picture of his <laughs> cop. His cop. <laughs> and he had it out, right? Wasn't it still out? I think he couldn't get it in fast enough in his pants, so he was blocking it with his little yeah. bag. Mm -hmm. And, uh... And and people were just like, you cucks, uh, yeah, let me take a picture. One guy goes, that yeah, penis picture. She's, they're all putting their Blackberries and iPhones near his dick. Oh, how uh, human. Good. And it she's just lambasting him the entire time. Oh, yeah. She's giving <laughs> him the business. Dick. You're <laughs> yeah, he was rubbing against me, and I look at his penises out. She's yelling at him. Oh, that's great. This happens a lot. Yeah. You know, That's why you gotta feel bad for women. Like it just sucks. Yeah, yeah but I, I, fucking penis. I think most women would just laugh at that. They're not horrified, it's uh, unless the guy's going a little too far. Yeah, it's just ridiculous to, that 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 the guy can't keep his dick in his pants on a train. <laughs> Dude, it's the perv switch. It, what do you think he saw her and just went like, I, I just got to whip I, it out. I could get away with this. I got to take it I out. I need that reaction he when she sees it. my big, huge yeah. hog. He <laughs> planned on it. That's of a guy who does it all the time. Of course. And you, just rubbed it on her? You think he's uh, very obvious about it or, or or it's more of a, you know, oh, oops, uh, oops. I think he was, he was. Even that's hard to do, but you think he's more of an oops guy, like, oh, oh, whoa. No, she said he was rubbing on her, <laughs> like humping her. And then he's. she looked down, and his dick is out. Do women find this funny? I find it hilarious. Men find I, it hysterically funny. Women find it I don't feel very, like, very awful. It's violating. I don't feel like it's violating. <laughs> I, I don't really take don't. a train and try to find that no, woman. I don't, I don't need to That's do that hysterical. or see that, but I, I, it's, it goes into the silly, funny category. This, the, this, uh, this broad took care of herself. She wasn't horrified. No, nah, she, uh, she definitely did. She took care of herself, uh, herself all right because that guy was thoroughly embarrassed the entire Humiliated. until that train stopped and the cops I think grabbed them right. Why did they turn the cell phone? There were video of it and they turned it off. Mm, that's what I said. The guy just when the video is getting good, the guy goes, "Well, I have enough video for YouTube." No, you don't. Keep like, filming. No, keep going. Why or do, videotaping or, yeah, I don't know, or recording shooting or whatever. I just call it recording now. I go old school. I say film. I wonder if he, had, if he ran out of Keep filming. Memory. Keep filming, right? Keep rolling that film. I know. <laughs> I, I'm aware that we don't film things anymore. Yeah. Or the average person doesn't, certainly. Or tape. Or yeah, tape. Keep taping it. Keep digitaling. -ling. Keep HDing. I just say Re capturing. Keep Cap capturing? You say capture. Yeah, I do. <laughs> no, you don't. Are you going to capture that? Well, this Capture. What covers is every medium. This fucking video is everywhere. Uh, yeah. We have eight TVs in our studio. Yeah. Much to the chagrin of the rest of the people that work here at Sirius XM. Well, if, there, if we can't get anything else, we got TVs. That's the one thing we were able That's to hold on to. That's the one thing we were able to really but you, squeak out. You watch what happens when these pictures, uh, these uh, TVs start breaking down. Yeah, you watch you, how it goes from you eight to seven. We're not to gonna six. get them re replaced. You no, don't think? No. No. They won't re They won't really quickly just replace our television. No. Didn't we, have, we had another one right there, right? Didn't we have four? And that where do we have the, the other one? The Tron will be in here. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, fucking mess. We always had eight. I thought we had one that they took out. We did have one that they took oh, out. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Where was that single one? We weren't I, happy about that. Is it in the corner over there. Yeah, no, I, I think it might have been. We did have nine. You right? want to say? Then just say it, Jimmy. If you want to say it, it was under there. 
<laughs> I want to make a definitive statement. I want to say. Well, let's play the audio of this video that everyone's yeah. talking about today. So, Crazy so bitch. she's on a subway here in New York City. Guy decides to, I believe, take his penis out and rub it against R her. Rub against oh, God, her. It's hilarious. <laughs> it really is. I want one woman to call up and tell me that's hilarious and that you're not horrified by that. I understand. I understand. As why. long as you're not being dragged into a bush somewhere, <laughs> I think it's really funny. Well, I understand why she was mad. And I understand why he did it. <laughs> <laughs> you can see both sides I, of the I, story. I can play devil's advocate very easily here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got my cock out. Rubbing a calf with it. <laughs> yeah, let's play it from there so we can see the video. Let's, let's see this. <laughs> Let me see your penis. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. Yeah. No. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, why is this person no, keep right pressing up against me? And I realize that you have all this fucking space here, and then I see his penis out. Oh. That's it. Yeah. 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 Hey, penis oh, man. Oh, you fucking arrested. I'm not leaving your side. My plans are done for tonight. I'm, I'm escorting you to the police station. She's okay? sassy. Oh, yes. Oh, fucking yes. I know what I saw. Flip of the hair. Where the fuck is the conductor? Oh, this shit's going on YouTube, yo. Where is the conductor? Let me take a picture of the penis of the condom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's there. It's there, all right. Penis of the condom. Penis of the condom. Penis of the condom. Penis of the condom. You're ridiculous, man, because I... And then they why, stop. Why Come stop? On. What do you want to save your fucking exposed himself to her memory? This is on the four train in Midtown. She's furious. She calls him out in front of the entire train. Check this out. They block her face. I'm not leaving your side. My plans are done. I just want to see if the news people find it hilarious like we do. They're going to be outraged, right? I know what I saw. The hair flip is great. Now speaking out really made a difference. Police quickly arrested. 51-year-old Mario Valdivia of Queens charging him with public lewdness and sex abuse. Oh. Quick action. All right, now we've got Shay Ryan in the house. <laughs> she doesn't uh, want to come. Quick reaction. <laughs> she doesn't want to come. Quick reaction. He looks like Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Didn't he? <laughs> I want to see the other views because you see all the cameras. Oh, there's, there's the another guy filming in the background, and then another camera popped in. This is about the Kennedy she assassination. Was, <laughs> she was sassy, though. Without the uh, oh yes oh yes oh yes flip the hair oh yes you're going this I'm happened. escorting you too sexy too I show him by my his dick. cock just lead him by his cock to the police station grab onto it like a fucking rope come here asshole the rubbing part happened to Jess once on a train did it yeah oh, well, Jess got rubbed well do yeah. tell oh, do tell she was, uh, when she was in Paris abroad in college Paris yeah she, she was a, school she was in a, Paris she was a abroad semester. in college. You know that, man. <laughs> What? She has been violated by some uncut French fucking yeah. penis. Casanova. Some guy who works eight hours a week. Yes. Comes home with big, a big baguette in his bag and Which, in his I mean, pants. I, <laughs> <laughs> she had a different boyfriend at the time. I don't know. What, really? What was he French? Me. No. You think uh, she uh, went French? I don't think so. She might have went French uh, once. I think she did. But it was before did I she did. go Greek? <laughs> That's terrible. That's did she go Greek in Paris? <laughs> so bad. I'm kidding. Do you know the Jess I talk about? Is a character, Jess. It's not the. It's real It's not Jess. the real person, right? It's like it's it's Sam Roberts' girlfriend. Sam right. Roberts from the Prime show. Primetime Sam. Primetime Sam's like imaginary girlfriend. Sure, but yeah. she is indeed a real person, and she didn't oh. find it hilarious when she was because she oh, was really? sitting on she was on the train standing. It was like a crowded train. Was it in the middle of the channel? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh. she wasn't traveling to. Oh, I England. thought it was the channel. I've always wanted to take the channel. Who doesn't? We so what happened? To. What happened? But so uh, the guy had a full erection. Oh. And he just started rubbing her ass. That, wouldn't that make her feel good? Like, wow. I, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty dishy. this guy, like, really excited. No. I mean, it probably made her feel, like, threatened. Oh, but yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't skin to skin. Right, but still. I'm still it was going with hilarious. His intimate area against her. She was invading <laughs> her space. To say the least. Uh, did he did he leave a little pre on her? Uh... No. Why was she bending over, tying her shoes? She wasn't bending over. She was just standing there. <laughs> Why was she touching her toes? Yeah, right. Doing calisthenics. Yeah, why would she be sitting Indian style on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> but he he did it once. Yeah. And then backed up, and she started getting really. She's got a terrible temper. She's very small. Oh. But she's got a for real temper. Like, don't she, fuck with her, right? Yeah, she gets very mad. What nationality is that? Uh, she's you got have no idea. She's got some of the European in her. Yeah. I don't know. European. That yeah. covers. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Well, she's half Jewish. I don't know. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> that's, that's, right. Um, so what happened? Let's go. So then the second time he started rubbing against her, 
She's only five feet tall, but she turned around and she stuck her finger in his face and said, nobody likes that. <laughs> And he stopped immediately. He said, oh, oh, oh okay. Did, maybe <laughs> she said, maybe she, he thought, like, people did like that. Yeah, yeah that's She true. was telling him. Well, he, apparently that's, like, the fantasy, that these guys fantasize about women really getting a kick out of this. So when yeah. a woman brings in the reality of the situation, that she is uncomfortable by this and nobody likes it. She learned that somewhere. I don't know. She, she learned, learned that in a rape book. Her instincts kicked rape right book? in. She learned that in a rape book. I don't know. There's a rape book? She I has believe any so, rape yeah. books. There's a rape book out there. Take that I've out of the library? <laughs> yes. I've seen any rape books on the in. shelf. Is it's that a, in pure science? Yes, it sure is. It's all those things. <laughs> Do you the know rape one, book. one time I was on a train to the Bronx for Yankee game years ago, and the woman in front of me, Spanish lady, I think, her ass was pressed against my dick. It, it literally was a crowded train going to a Yankee game. Yeah. You're out of your mind, right? I had a fucking rod. Did and, you get a rod? A little jostling of the ass. Yeah. And I am convinced, or I was at that moment, that she liked it, that she was comfortable with it, because she could have... It's oh, little things, brother. like when you pull back. I had one time, like, you can test, like, when you pull back, and all of a sudden, if the other person, you find them, they go, go against you. You know a little too much. <laughs> I've had it happen a couple times. A couple you times. know a little too much about the feeling out if you're going to get that redheaded chick or you're going to get fucking the Spanish chick. <laughs> the Spanish chick that's going to move backwards a little bit for you. Yeah. Isn't there some kind of uh, thing that uh, a movie with Rosie Perez or something? Where she was grinding. Yeah, there's uh, it was a. It's a really old. It's got to be at least ten years old at this point. But it was like a like a collection of these short stories that all took place on in the New York City subway. I don't remember this. Mm. And there was one story where Rosie Perez gets onto a uh, a crowded rush hour morning train uh, every morning at the same time, and this guy is in her car, and he has his hand on like low on the pole, and she goes up every morning and like gets off on his hand. Oh, really? Wow. And, until the one day where he decides to ask her like what her name is or if she wants coffee, and then she just gets disgusted and storms off because the whole fantasy was that it only happened on that train in that morning. They was signing and he never no said words. A word. He just it just yeah. happened. And, and the minute he said something, ruined it, and that was it. Hey, Over. you want to go out? <laughs> yeah. I don't blame him. Though. You, you'd have to eventually say. I had eventually. Had to. This I guess really? this happens a lot, huh? This rubbing and exposing on the subway. We had the other guy where the the lady took the picture. Yeah, it took a little snapshot. And humiliated the guy that owned restaurants or something. And remember he was that sitting guy? there just jerking. And, just and she jacking. said, "Fuck that!" And, and pulled out her camera and got a picture of it. Yeah. And now we got the fiery redhead. Why and, would you pick her? Oh yes, she, she. Oh yes, she obviously is a problem. I know. Generally speaking, though, I think it would be safe to assume that women don't get on the subway hoping to see a penis. You think? I, I think, think there's so. a few out there, mm. Sam. I mean, mm. that's probably the rare exception. I though. would imagine. <laughs> yeah. You think that's a rare exception? I think so. Mm. I think most women no, think probably about, just want to get to where they're going. I, I, I think it's about 40%. Yeah. 40%. I think that's, a, I think four that's out of ten way women want to see the penis. Four out of ten. I think that might be. Yeah, penis. three out of the ten want the rubbing to uh, occur. I mean, that's oh. a huge percentage. Your odds are actually pretty good. You know. That's what I'm saying. That's why I think it might be a little high. Not too bad. Can we dress you up as a, a woman and see if any guys like rub their penises against dress you in the subway? Don't yeah, think I'd rub it on them now. <laughs> exactly. I don't think I'd make an attractive woman. I have a big forehead. Mm, you sure yeah, do. I love that. <laughs> All the better to come on. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. No, his, his forehead's perfect to rest your asshole on, while his nose nuzzles your balls and his lips gently teased. The shaft of your cock. How bad do you want to make an asshole print on his forehead right Desperately. now? Desperately. Oh, yeah. It's the big pucker right in the middle of it. Like yeah. it's ash. It's ass Wednesday. I... <laughs> it's a brown spot. I have a long taint that would cover like right down the bridge of his nose. Can we do that just for the radio? No, I wish uh, you guys. It's a radio would... bit. Just stop. It's not a homo bit. It's a radio no. bit. Radio bit. No. Radio bit. I'm a professional. Not so, okay. So hopefully another angle of this thing comes out with a guy that knows how to, you know, uh, shoot things properly and not stop right. the camera when it's getting good. Or a picture of the penis with a condom. It's shit like that that makes me think maybe there are UFOs, like, and people just too stupid to fucking <laughs> record them. Because yeah. that guy had, like, there was still shit going on. Of course there were. Like, wait till the door opens. Wait till the cops get there. See what this fucking maybe had a shitty phone crazy and, woman does. Maybe he had a shitty phone. That looks like an iPhone, right? No? I don't know. I'm not gonna fucking... Uh huh? There's lots of cameras that yeah, take seven. video that look like that. That's I'm not point selling point. out no iPhones. It, my BlackBerry doesn't shoot like that, though. What what camera shoots where it's like... A lot of droid uh, uh, That's like a droid? It. You know what I mean? doesn't. It's not full screen. Why is well, that? It's very is it cropped? People need to... 
turn their phones when they're videoing with their iPhones. Just turn the phone and it's widescreen movie. Widescreen! Looks great. Right. HD. Even on an HD TV, and I would know. You would know. You would barely know. You're barely in that world. I'm so in that world. Simmons View, 32 inches. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's just... Every aspect of her is don't fuck with this Don't chick. pull your cock out for don't her. Don't pull your <laughs> cock so out. It's so obvious. <laughs> don't pull your cock out for this She's girl. Very pretty though. We should play a game. Like uh, show us a few pictures, and we'll we'll uh, we'll we'll teach this guy. Look at her. She's just which ones you pull your cock up. out to, and which ones you don't. Yeah, he, this chick means business. Never a redhead. No. Just leave the fucking gingers alone on the train. No. Yeah. I like how she's telling everybody, and she's calling it a penis. She's yelling. <laughs> she's just yelling. What happened? And she's looking around like at other people, like, right? This fucking cock is out, what the fuck? Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The hair know. flip is great. Can we hear that again? I'd like to hear that again. What, what? the one, right? Yeah, her, her. Yeah? Yeah, because yeah, yeah, the news is not going to play it real. Right? I love it. <laughs> this guy's miserable. <laughs> Let me oh. see your penis. Yeah, I'm serious. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, why is this person yeah, keep pressing right, up against me? And I realize that you have all this fucking space here, and I see his penis out. That's it. Hey, oh, you get man. fucking arrested. I'm not leaving your side. My plans are done for tonight. I'm, I'm escorting you to the police station, okay? Oh, yes. Oh, fucking yes. I know what I saw. Where the fuck is the conductor? <laughs> She's oh, this shit's coming on YouTube, yeah. Where is the conductor? Let me take a picture of the penis at the condom. Oh, it's there. It's there, all right. Penis at the condom. <laughs> <laughs> you ridiculous, man, because I... What did that guy say? Penis with the condom. with the condom. And there is the guy. You're right. The other guy is filming. Yeah, I want to see that angle. footage. Yeah, man. where's his? And he's filming like he's supposed to with the phone flipped wide right. screen. Yeah, that guy knew what he was doing. That guy's Hopefully got that the footage pops up. Greatest fucking He probably of shot it. the penis with the condom and he can't put it on YouTube. Well, what's, what's the, the penis with the condom? I guess the guy. What do you think? He must have had a condom on. Yeah, he might have had a condom he on. He probably comes into it. Safe rubbing. Holy shit, this guy's like fucking. Well, maybe a professional. He's a professional. Doesn't want DNA on the girls. Is he a secretor? Yeah. He's yeah. one of those secretors. Yeah, his dick is like a slug. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. My oh, yes. My plans are done. She's so fucking Would pissed. you ever go out with a girl like that? Love to. Get the She's fuck fiery. out of here. She's fiery. She's fun for maybe a, a weekend. Yeah, she'd that, pipe down and, and eat her ass. And that all becomes a nightmare. <laughs> eat her ass and she fucking... She'd pipe down? She simmers right down. Simmer down. <laughs> simmers right the fuck I'm down. I'm eat your ass. You simmer down now. <laughs> Jess would get that man. She would get that 100%, man? 100%, yes. If, well, somebody, if somebody did that to her, she'd uh, get would that. Would she be like, uh -huh. oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Well, what was her line again from the rape book? She... Well, it wasn't from a rape book. A she rape she book. knew what she was doing. But someone taught her properly. She put her little finger in the guy's face and said, Nobody <laughs> likes that. <laughs> and that the guy, guy got stopped the, and looked embarrassed. He got the equivalent of the um, the zonk on a game show. <laughs> yes. The whammy. <laughs> it's like, oh, you picked the wrong girl. Oh, look what you went and did. Let me tell you something. If you, yeah, nobody wants to keep jerking off to a screaming woman on the train. Oh. <laughs> no, any woman, no matter, no matter how menacing the guy is, just start yelling, he's got his penis out, and he will put it away well, and no, leave. <laughs> nobody likes that. It's, it's perfect. Yeah, it's nobody great. likes it right in his face, right? Yeah. But yeah, remember, Sam, good. four out of ten do. I don't think that's the case. I think mo almost Four all women do. really don't, don't like that. And it's three out of ten want, want skin to skin contact on the subway. Where'd you get these stats? Uh, from um, the rape book. Very, uh, from the rape book. The yeah. rape book. Yeah, there's stats in the back. I mean, I think 1940. Uh, <laughs> most women, most women love it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not only do they not like it, but they probably don't think it's very funny either. They just. No, um, she didn't think it was funny. I, no, I think most women probably I, feel violated I, and get very angry at this it. This guy's a dope because this woman's not even showing any sexuality. You see the like the skirt she's wearing; it's all the way to the floor. Pat from Monaki brings up a great point. He goes, "This girl wouldn't mind breaking up in public." Like oh, she's, the kind of she's, yeah. the, she's the, a scene maker in a restaurant. Oh yeah, she is a scene maker. And then you give me that shit. And she's well, it's fucking <laughs> over, Mister. And you sit at the table like, "Oh my oh, no, god, not you, here. you're making a scene." And, and she's uh, coming home from work. Imagine her with a few drinks in her. Oh, your cocktail time. Get the fuck. I've been out happy hours of pissing with her. <laughs>
Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, that's your story of the day. That, that's, that's great. That's everywhere today. That's great. Big, fiery red bush. She probably doesn't trim it. <laughs> no. Why should she trim it for a man? <laughs> Fuck him. You know how embarrassed that guy is, oh, Mario? He was embarrassed immediately, too. He's just like, what? And you could what? see he was probably pleading with her because he was like, no, you no. Uh, oh, she's yeah. like, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. He's probably just going no. And the guy's like, let me see your penis. And he's just like, oh no, the guys <laughs> yeah. are chiming in. It's not <laughs> the even, guys are making not even fun of him anymore. <laughs> like if it's just the girl yelling at my dick, it's one thing. But now the guys are yelling at my <laughs> dick, trying to get their blackberries so they can take pictures yeah. of his little penis with a condom. <laughs> <laughs> condom on. Yeah. Penis with a condom. <laughs> penis with a condom coming up. It's like at a diner. That it's like be, a short order cook. It should be the penis with a condom. <laughs> should be the headline of every newspaper today. Penis with a condom. penis with a condom. <laughs> Love that guy. Uh, unfortunately, no women calling in saying they laugh at this type of thing. Because no, they I, don't. I, I think it's funny. That's because you're not a woman. I'm you don't like, have penises rubbed on you. I understand the difference of being pulled into like a dark alley or something. But well, that's is, actual rape. This is on a, <laughs> it's not like, this is on a subway and rape. some idiot yeah. is pulling his penis out. I, I would imagine if you're a woman, you're laughing. There are probably degrees they of rubbed it on her. I bet... The other, rubbing is a little rough. I bet there were some women on that train watching the shenanigans that were laughing because the guy was being so degraded in front of this woman. After, yeah. Right, yeah. Afterwards. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I don't think uh, any woman who's having this perpetrated <laughs> upon them is enjoying it. Yeah. No. Or would start <laughs> Look at this guy's chuckling. dick. That shit is hilarious. Yeah. It's on me. Ah, ah, look at this. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, shit? but I'm just laughing too hard here. I got to share. Yeah, there's a dick on my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Women have to put up with so much fuck. Like, they, they oh. hate us so much. Oh, I know. Just, like, my, both my, my, this girlfriend and the one before said, you just have no idea as a guy how, how many fucking times a day little things... A guy makes a remark, a guy looks at you uncomfortably, you have to pretend you didn't see it. Everywhere you go, yeah. there's some creep who wants to fuck you. All right, we got the women finally calling in. I know oh. they're I know they're gonna agree with me. <laughs> uh, Megan in DC. Megan is a uh, regular to yeah. the Opie and Anthony show. What's up, Megan? Hey guys. Hey. Hello. Um so I'm done with what Jimmy's talking about, except you know I was on the other end. So I agree that women sometimes know and like it. Sure. But it can't be like a disgusting little pervert. He has to be like kind of normal. Like you, you wouldn't mind a hot guy. You're saying <laughs> rubbing his dick on you in a train. So it all comes down to. <laughs> He doesn't even have to be hot enough that I would sleep with him, but he has to be at least See, normal enough. See, I'm telling you, that. man. Oh, God. You guys laugh at me, but I've read so the rape So far, book. let me tell you something. So far, 100% of the girls that have called this show want, their, want uh, a dick rubbed on them in a train. Right. Doesn't Jess count for one? I'm talking nah, nah, about the show. I said call nah, the show. No. She's too proper. Jesus. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Opie's, uh, I, I Thank thought you. Opie's. <laughs> Thank you. Obviously, he's read the rape book. Thank you. Uh, but no, it's I'm higher sure. than that. It's 100%. <laughs> as long as he smells okay and, and he's got some, some beef in his pants. Right. <laughs> beef oh. in his have you Have you backed up a little bit on a subway, Megan? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe it was Jimmy. Oh, you backed that oh, shit up right in like on that, there? Megan. You got a little Spanish in you? Uh, no. Did uh, you Because Jimmy was talking ride? about a Spanish guy. Oh, yeah, get it? Jimmy <laughs> said that he's done it lots of times, so you never know. I can think of two different times where I've had... Once where it was blatant, but, she, but and, the, and the other time was probably like less than a year ago. But <laughs> I kept moving back. I really, I don't want to get yelled. At. This is this. I don't want to get yelled at or whatever. Yeah. And uh, and I noticed her ass would come back a little bit, but I didn't push it. It's probably some big black guy in front of her pushing his cock yeah. into her pussy <laughs> or a knife in her. She's just walking backwards to get out of the way of him and. Backing up into your fucking cock. Why don't we take she was sandwiched? <laughs> why don't we take the D train back and forth all day with sweatpants on and see what happens? Like pup tent. Yeah. Why don't we fucking do our own little survey and arrest? I was on the train once. This yeah. is a long time ago, and there was this guy. He looked like uh, Adebisi from Oz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. And, he, and he was wearing and he was wearing sweatpants, and they were like baggy, oh, baggy sweatpants. Man. And he was just trying to kick game to some girl, and like you know she was, you know she she was uh, she was cool with it. Like she was like smiling and blushing and flirting with him. But his cock was getting so hard. And these sweatpants. <laughs> just like, talking her? What yeah, the like, fuck? He had, to, he, had to, like, stick his, he had to, like, stick his ass out and lean into her to try to, like, hide as much dick as possible. Oh, really? He was, like, <laughs> trying to pull back? He, he must have had 14 inches in those sweatpants. <laughs> it was ridiculous. He was I'm trying to hide it? Weapon. Oh, yeah, a little bit, because he knew what was going on. A weapon. And I think he knew yeah. that she was saw what was going on, but, like, he kind of half didn't care <laughs> because he knew what he was packing. So. Hey, uh, let's continue the survey here. Maria in New York. So far, 100%. Maria. 
Yes. What's going on? You guys are awesome. I'm so glad I finally got on. Um, I just wanted to call because I actually, uh, like years ago when I was in high school, I went to a fucking ECW wrestling thing because all nice. my, my friend's brother. I get you. Oh, but uh, anyway, uh, while we were wait- while we were actually, we had standing room and you know seats or whatever. So I was. Uh, just kind of standing in the back, and this guy just started, like, feeling me up. And I kind of let it happen because he was a good-looking guy, but... At an ECW show? <laughs> what did you say? At an ECW yeah, show? A good-looking guy yeah. at an ECW show. He, you know what? He actually was. So I kind of let it happen. I mean, but I think what you guys were talking about, the whole penis, you know, out in public up against your ass or whatever... That's kind of creepy. But you sit would... there and got your tits felt up by some stranger at, at a wrestling, wrestling show. <laughs> it, was over, it, was, it was under the shirt, but over the bra. So was he cr- under the what? shirt? Wow. What was he crying, saying it was still real to him? <laughs> it's still real to me. <laughs> they feel real to me. <laughs> under the shirt, over the bra is okay, I guess. No, like... it's not okay. All right, I'm learning a lot of things today. In the rape right, book, it now. says, awesome, guys. Thanks. under the shirt, but over the bra <laughs> is okay. Is okay. Yes. 70% of women like that? Yeah, yeah. Is that what it says? Yeah. All right, let's yeah. go to uh, Detroit. Aw, oh, shit. What happens in the day? Robin, oh, what Christ. happens in the day? Is there even subways in the day? There's no pants. No. There's just fucking blatant <laughs> ass fucking going on. No, we, don't have, we don't have subways, but we have what's called a people mover, which is like an above ground tram. It's called a police car. <laughs> <laughs> The paddy wagon. <laughs> it's a lot nicer than what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, shit, Jimmy. Uh, I've been on the subway in New York. I, I would love some guy to whip his dick out because I would humiliate the shit out of him. Now, if I was on the people mover and somebody did it, I'd probably be more afraid of the other savages on the train than I would of the guy. All right, Robin, let's out. slow the fuck down, man. You said if you were in New York, you would humiliate the guy. What would be your line? Jess had a great line. What was her line again? Nobody <laughs> likes that. What would your line be, Robin? My, my line would be, why do you got your fucking cock out, you asshole? And I would oh. want everybody's attention to it. <laughs> Oh, oh, see, not, uh, you're not, you're not savvy real. enough for New York. Not get real reviews in the day. What would Jess say in New York, Sam? She would look at a person, <laughs> no matter how big they are, the and pants? no, not in the pants. She wouldn't know that. She'd feel it, and well, she'd be feeling it at this point. She gets the finger the on their has, face, but she would stop begun. feeling. Yeah, she would turn around, all five feet. Point her finger up into his face and go, "Hey, you, get your goddamn <laughs> dick off her." Me. She would yeah, say, me. "Nobody well, likes that." A more dangerous than Biff. Than you. There's a lot of Biffs on the train. Yeah, I'm gonna rub my dick on you, Lorraine. And One La- day you'll make me come. <laughs> <laughs> and Lorraine was not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> nah, well, she was in the car for quite a while. Well, All right. Yeah. She funny. needed a savior. Fifty percent, huh? Fifty percent now. One for one against. Yes. What about the third woman we had? She She's was, uh, she got felt up in an ECW show. It doesn't so, mean she likes to give get me some percentage on points trains. for that, man. Yeah, but I still think it would be funny, so I'm still 100 percent. Taking oh, a she's subway so funny. with a boy, <laughs> getting a dick rubbed on you by a boy. Robin, <laughs> would you be horrified if a guy whips out his dick on a subway or the people mover? Would I be horrified? I wouldn't be horrified. I would. I, I would still think it's funny, but I think it would be funny to humiliate him. But in Detroit, it's a whole lot more dangerous. We don't understand that. Yeah, I'm just I, certainly no. I'm sticking up for the broads today. I think. Uh, I think they could handle themselves. Is what I'm saying. And they're not like little prisses and running away scared and horrified. As long as they're not being dragged into the woods or something. Yep. Do they? Have, <laughs> you did say forty percent like it. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Do they have those, I, do they have those it's not even a radio poles? bit anymore. I'm telling you, four out of ten girls don't mind this. I'm telling you. Okay. <laughs> I love a cock pulled out. That's all I gotta say. What are you talking I'm talking about even in, Detro- <laughs> even in Detroit. Yes. Even in Detroit, you know. nobody likes right, Robert, their dick. You. Nobody likes to be shamed publicly for taking their penis out. No. Any woman yelling at a man for rubbing his dick on her in a yeah. fucking train uh, is yeah, gonna be is gonna humiliate him. It's humiliating. By the way, Anthony, I got some backup too. Emily Post. This is from Jordan and Scred, PA. Emily Post says, "Under the shirt, over the bra is okay as long as you keep your." Pinky up. She is the queen of etiquette. She sure is, and she yeah. sure is. No that ECW story reminded me. I was at a concert once, and I saw this girl 
uh, with a guy behind her. And I thought they were together because of how oh, close no. they were. But then I kept seeing that she kept kind of pushing him back. And I just figured that, like, you know, she was uncomfortable or whatever. Like, she just wanted some room. But then it kept happening. So I kind of just leaned into her. And I was like, is this guy with you? And she just looked at me and she went, no. Wow. Was he and just hammered and fucking... He was just, like, just some Spanish guy who was just kind of, like, rubbing up against her. Like, you know, his dick wasn't out, but he was definitely, like, rubbing on her. And she didn't like it. No, she did not like that. <laughs> and I spent the, the rest of the concert not enjoying myself and basically protecting this girl from this other guy's cock. Did you get laid? No. Did you rub nah, nah, she just The concert was over and she just left. I know. I kind of felt like... <laughs> I felt like I, like, like she should have done something for you, me. Did you say anything? Time. Time. No, I just put... I just shoved him back and then, like kind of protected her as like using myself as like a shield and then so you if just he's gonna rub it yeah, yeah, he yeah i did <laughs> yeah. oh your Literally. juicy rump wouldn't be a deterrent <laughs> <laughs> she, she, well, she was very you, you could tell on her face she was clearly upset by that mm. she and got the guy, a rub on what did the guy, guy do when you pushed him no he just looked at me like, i just kind of stared at him like i know what you're doing you know and i'm mm. and she doesn't like it so i'm not gonna let you do it that was it damn all right let's say hi to sue in jersey sue sorry yeah. <laughs> sorry spanish hey guys. man uh I've seen more strange penis than people that I've slept with. Wow, um, wow. It, ha <laughs> it happened to me. I think the best one is it happened to me in Atlantic City, and I was leaning <laughs> over to make a bet, and uh, somebody, like, threw the pants hard on right between my ass cheeks. And I turned around. Well, first of all, I guess I did check out the guy. We were at the craps table. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. Just yeah, her yeah, ass at the uh, craps table. Who's Rich Voss? <laughs> <laughs> from two ways. And uh, I turned around, and I just kind of looked at him, and then I turned to my friends, and, and we were all hysterical. But as soon as I turned around and looked at him, like, what the hell are you doing? He backed up and went away. But I think by that time, it was a little hard to the whole situation. You know, I saw some guy ask me for directions. I looked in. He's got his dick out. <laughs> I teach in a high school. I had another kid, like, expose himself to me, and I, I you know. So, like I said. Wow, you're like a dick a magnet. Yeah, you guys must have have love pulling their dick out. You must be a good looking broad. I remember one time I was cruising hookers. And um, the car in front of me, I guess this was when it would be all over the 10th uh, uh, by that head station. And fucking, uh, I hear Like we're all supposed to go, oh, <laughs> oh yeah, 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 of course. It's yeah, on 10th and the that, 40s. Right. <clears throat> you'd, you'd circle around 10th, 11th, and 40s. And this one hooker was yelling, he had his dick out! <laughs> Even the hooker was bothered the hooker didn't like by it. some Come guy on. in the car in front yeah. of me. Ridiculous. <laughs> I think just about all women... I'm bothered by it. No, Sue, you weren't bothered by it, right? Well, a little bit, but by the time a the little bit, so me, I, I, another win for me. I don't think that's a, quite a win. No, 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 I didn't want it. It just was like by the time the guy in Atlantic City did it, it happened to me so many times. I was just like, "What is wrong with you?" What? I mean, it was a crowded table, and right it in the casino. Right in the casino. I mean, it oh, it was through the pants, but did, it was definitely but yeah. deliberate. Did like, any of these? Toes. Incidences uh, get you a little moist in the panties. <laughs> not a, no, not at all. A little bit, no. yeah. You sure about no. a stack no. of chips in his pants or something? Oh, no, chips, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> she said no, which That's means yes. We all know yeah. that as guys. No yeah, means yeah. yes. Yeah. So yeah. It's in the rape book. Yeah, I don't know what this rape book is that you're reading. Um, you know what? And the thing that Jess said is totally something you say to the mentally handicapped. Like, I've worked with autistic kids, and when they start, like, hump, humping stuff or whatever, you're like... Jesus, you're say? just... They but just start humping that. things? Jesus. She just yeah. goes through her day getting humped wherever she goes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Victim, you're on the air. <laughs> right. yeah, really? Take me the guys. All right. Yeah. Mm. I guess uh, it happens a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are you going to do? Got a girlfriend. Uh, Tom has a girlfriend here that was felt up at a concert. Want to oh. guess the concert? ECW. Uh, huh? ECW. I'm going to go uh, Jay-Z. Uh, Jay uh, Tom, Long Island. Hey, how you doing? Hey, What's up, hi. man? Morning, boys. Uh, it was a Triumph concert way back in the <laughs> Wow. You were way Triumph. off. Oh. The insult dog? <laughs> All right, B-O-Z. And Triumph? And yeah. Triumph. No, it was Foghead. What was their big song, Magic Power? Foghead, yeah. Yeah, Magic Power, Fight the Good Fight, Hold On. All those I don't know them. Lay it on the line. I know a little yeah. bit about Triumph's this Triumph. Got some, uh, yeah, they had some the, hits. The DJ ones. That's about it, though. I, I don't think yeah. I know any more Triumph songs. <laughs> well, good for you. Well, we were walking down to our seats, and she was behind me. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he always yelling and shit, and she's screaming. I'm like, what the fuck? So I turn around, and she's like, he just put his hand up my crotch from behind. So he reached behind, grabbed the pussy, and pulled back. 
And she was laying into this motherfucker, and she was screaming and screaming and screaming, and she was like, oh, my God, I can't believe you motherfucker, that's bad, mate. That's how the TSA people uh, frisk you now, too. They just grab, <laughs> yeah, grab the pussy. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's what, what <laughs> I said. A little jiggle. That's what I said. It's like uh, yeah. getaway day or whatever. What is it called? Getaway day, yes. It's fondled day. It's a lot of, a lot of guys are going to be fondled at the airport It's getaway with it day. Getaway so day. You can actually get away with fondling women, see? Uh, genitalia. I think it's only TSA employees, though. I think yeah, I, yeah. I don't think it's for people on trains. Really? I don't think, yeah, I don't but think you could just... getting away, too. It happens, and, it happens by the way, everything. we should self-police our... We should self-police. They say, if you see something suspicious, well, say it. See something, say something. See something, say something. So, if you just grab, <laughs> you know, anonymously, no profiling, just grab some uh, pussy... Check for and fire see arms. if there's some kind of a uh, bomb in there. If you're on a train, you're you're actually helping everyone on the train. There you Except go. for that one woman. Well, some I, sacrifices must be made. I guess so. And yeah. now she's a big she's a big what YouTube miss? star, so she a absolutely en enjoyed the uh, the penis out on the train yesterday. I still don't think she enjoyed it. Uh, there was a scandalous story the other day about a, a young girl. Huh? Uh, yeah, uh, she was in a store somewhere with her mom. Uh, you found that one? Yeah, and. Uh, and uh, it it seems she was wearing flip flops, yeah. And a guy's uh, uh, pedophile perv switch went off, and the girl is telling the story of how this man walked up and just started kissing her feet. And all I could think of was the disgusting turkey foot that Uncle Paul would do. <laughs> it was the only thing I thought. You play, I couldn't handle it. It was them little tootsies. I just little wanted to tootsie. grab it and go like, you make turkey noises on the arch, sometimes on the ankles. That's, that's what uh, seems to have happened. Uh, she, she was uh, getting her feet kissed until she, she ran away to the parent and... Uh, I guess her mom turned the guy in. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, she was a tattletale. She sure did. <laughs> I thought you liked your feet turkeyed. <laughs> no, Everybody likes turkey foot. I don't think little uh, little kids like when strangers kiss their feet. <laughs> My toes are curling up. Uh, isn't that <laughs> when awful? he yeah, says you liked that when, when he... you was a boy. Sam would have his little Boy Scout uniform on, you and his mother would say, hey, we're going to go get my husband's mustache wax because you watch <laughs> Sam. So I'd say, sure. Uh. And I'd, I'd put like, I'd put all kinds of cod oil on my you-know-what and make him kiss it. And I'd kiss his little feet. Because <laughs> his feet, he could flick a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> that was it, too. He did take his shoes off yeah. on public, te uh, not public, public, on national yeah, television. Nickelodeon, son. Nickelodeon. So uh, a lot of uh, people saw your bare little boy foot. He started that because he used his feet to try to push my tongue away. <laughs> Get it off. And they realized he could flick a quarter with it? Yeah. That was a library, I guess? Yeah. That's the story? Uh, Seven-year-old girl is uh, stating, man sniffed, fondled, kissed my feet at the library. Yeah. The How do you think you're going to get away with that as a I, child? I know. What, what the fuck? She was reading in the library when the uh, man allegedly uh, came up. She, she said, I didn't know what to do. I was so petrified. Poor girl. The girl said, I want him to suffer. That's all. I want him to suffer until he dies. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Jesus Christ. That kid's going to be fucked. <laughs> fucked up for the rest of her life. So what were you saying, Sam? I'm sorry. Yes, Samuel. Just Anything? my toes were curling. Coming. Up. Oh. Yeah. When you when yeah. you said when Uncle Paul said turkey foot, but oh. the last time that everybody loves turkey foot, my oh. toes instantly completely curled it's under terrible. each other. It's fucking awful. Just terrible.